Hey, Turtle Club, it is Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which means it's time once again for Free For All Friday, which is our actual Playing With Subscribers stream series where we have subs come in, new subs, old subs, people have been here since we've been uh, live as of uh, February of last year. Um, and we are playing, of course, what our highest tipper for the week has put in, and that this week is Drew Benson. Hey, speaking of which, hey, Drew, glad to see you, man. Excellent choice on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. All the information on how to join in is, of course, in the description for the video, guys. Hey, James, welcome to the chat. And we do this the same way every time, guys. We first start off with four mirror mode races, then go to five battle modes, Alternating in between those actual runs, we go ahead and accept any kind of friend request that we get. That information can be gathered by exclamation join from the rest of the video. You'll need to be able to read the description to get that info. That's just kind of a little explanation of how we go about this. And uh, we, we play that until about 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we do a 200cc race, also known as Ricky Bobby Mode. Hey, Jordan Bradford, welcome to the chat. Now, let's see here. We got a little 18-wheeler ATV going on. Um, I don't know if I can handle... that's that's That, that wheel's kind of fast. Um, let's see here. Kind of getting everything set up, guys. And, of course, we give everybody about five minutes from the start of the stream to kind of come in and trickle into the room. And, uh, well, we'll go with, uh, we'll go with the high roll. Um glider got some people already trickling in oh it's attack of the clones it got two me's that are the exact same that makes it kind of interesting and guys again we start about five minutes after so we got a couple minutes here uh, just a couple of things of course those that are familiar with our morning stream series it used to be friday morning and saturday morning for majora's morning muffin hey it's dj brad jordan bradford hey there you are that would be new. Um, not sure what's new. I don't know. I, I guess I. Uh, I guess I said. Oh, that would be. New. Oh, okay, okay. So that might be. Uh, might be Drew's characters. Could be. The one thing that I don't like about the Mario Kart friends room is I have so many friends, and my brain is just, you know, not really good for keeping track of info. So I don't know who these me's are all the time. Hey, Lightning Shadow, <laughs> that would be you. Okay. Oh, that that makes a lot more sense now, Drew. I, I was I was slightly confused, but so Majora's Morning Muffin, which was Friday Saturday, has been moved to Saturday Sunday mornings. Friday mornings is now um, whatever I can mentally play when I get home from work because Thursday nights have been less than favorable for the workload, guys. Friday night free-for-all is still here, so no worries there. Mag vs. Wild at 3 a.m. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday Eastern Standard Time is still here as well. Uh, we do know that people enjoyed Skyfall Sunday for the time being that has been removed um, because of just the way we want to make sure that we're still giving two streams a week to Majora's Morning Muffin on days that people can actually see and watch. We know most of the Turtle Club loves to watch the content we do live. Um, some do enjoy the uploaded content, um, but we, we are hoping to at some point be able to get that kind of altered. Hey, kind of sake inside the chat there, so way cool. Uh, one last thing, just to kind of give a preview as to what we're going to be playing on Freedom Friday, our next morning Friday stream. And we just picked this up on Xbox One, Okami HD. Uh, actually, one of the, the company that I work for does this kind of really neat reward system. I picked that up through that. So, yeah. Oh, uh, that's all right, Slash. No worries. Splatoon characters are going to be in the new Smash Brothers game. Yes, Lightning Shadow. That's what we are expecting. Because the preview had the Inklings looking up at the blazing Smash logo. Uh, so we don't know if that really means that, or if their stages are going to be there, or if they're going to be DLC characters. Uh, we, we presume they're going to be part of the actual story game at some point, way, shape, or form. We want to get Okami on Switch? Yeah, I was... Uh, so I actually picked this out from the, from the stuff, um, my company reward program, like the day before they announced it coming to Switch. So I'm like, oh wow, okay, that, you know, GG Mag... GG company Mag works for it kind of all got mixed up there. 
All right, so uh, we are, yeah, we're right at three minutes after. So we got about five people trickling in. Remember, it would be four mirror made mode roses, not mirror roses. Boy, guys, this stuff is starting to kick in, so I'll be able to talk straight in a little bit. But it hasn't quite got there yet. But yeah, guys, we're going to have some fun tonight. It's been a couple of weeks since I've played, so we know that the first couple of rounds are going to be really rusty for me, which is generally fun. Um, but yeah, uh, hey, Zombie Billy. Ooh, Zombie Billy. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six of us now. We got half a whole entire set of people in the building. So we're about to get this going. About to get this going. Oh, Turtle Club, start your engines. We're 20 seconds away, so going to mirror race. Normal items, no teams, no computers now. We like easy computers in the races. Um, they're not bad, Lightning Shadow. Hey, Demon Hunters, hey, how's it going? The only thing that I have a complaint about on the Wii U games is there's no C button on the controller. So if you're used to playing N64 controller, which is this wonderful piece of plastic here, um, these buttons here are, have been replaced with the right thumbstick, and it does not work as well as one would like it to. Does not work as well as one would like it to, at least, at least not me. Uh, let's see here. Let's start with Mount Wario. Hey, Sally, welcome to chat. Uh, I'm excited, Zombie Billy, for Smash. I really enjoyed Smash Brothers. I uh, enjoy a lot of aspects of it. I'm not really competitive on it, though. Um, in this, you know, like high end competition, doing combos kind of stuff, I, uh, I'm too old for the reflex of game that, that that requires. As evidenced by my really, really awesome Mario Karting skills where I drive off the edge all the time. But I am excited because I do like it. It's uh, very uncomfortable on the 3DS. I, I've heard that it, it just... It's games that they're absolutely, you know, wanting to get there for people to be able to play. But it obviously was not built the way it needed to be built. With the controls. I think that was my green shell coming back to haunt me. Do I play Magic the Gathering? Oh yes, James. I play Magic the Gathering and I have looked all over the huge spoiler that Dominaria just had. Um, I play Commander as my primary format and oh goodness. I am super excited for Commander because they're getting so many goodies. So many goodies. Me and Alienated One both play Commander. And we were talking about the uh, the, the new Minotaur. Uh, and oh, Digrat too. Digrat plays also. Uh, Digrat's got... Yeah. Digrat's got some pretty mean decks. Um, you've played every single Smash game. Oh, oh yeah, Zombie Sovi. I've uh, I have gotten in a really bad spot on this track, guys. I, I think I'm now being beaten by the easy NPCs, so it's no bueno. Oh wow, and a bullet bill to start. Okay. Um, oh, at least I, at least I actually was ghosted there. But yeah, so the 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 new I mean it was really really bad the actual confidential leak they had. Wizards very rarely actually responds to leaks until after spoiler season has started and been well underway. This one was just so bad. Like the whole entire card file got spoiled pretty close. And I know whatever company dropped the ball on that one James is just just not going to have any luck. Man, I'm getting red shelled. Welcome to the Turtle Club. Here's your red shell. Oh, oh. Can I get... Oh. Just barely... play modern oh that's cool and started the club at your library hey that's it's important you know MTG that one of the things that has always been kind of a defining moment for my ability to play magic in any area has been whether or not there's a place for us to play at I uh, watch my favorite smash um, 
I think the 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 GameCube version was my favorite. Melee was was arguably my favorite of all the Smash Brothers games that I've owned over the years. That's the one that I've kept. I just felt like a huge thumping. Oh, that was oh I know exactly what that was. That was that awesome book I have. Uh, but yeah, I play Modern as well, James. I am a Lantern Control player in Modern. I apologize for that up front. Because I know most people don't like playing against Modern uh, Lantern. It's going to be so cool. Imagine how many attacks Splatoon guys will have. Uh, you know, it'll be neat. It'll be neat. I'm, I'm not... I'm not really fanboying it out, though. I love playing against Cloud and Smash. Melee was amazing as well, yeah. Uh, Melee I liked. Uh, Boo, Modern. I know Alien is the one. Modern is not your format. But Commander absolutely is. Uh, and so the... Yeah, the Minotaur Cleric in Modern... Look, or in Commander looks really, really good. Um, the... There's a... What is it? Ghostly Prison Legendary in, in Dominaria coming out. It's like a three mana two two that instead of paying for two, it's paying for one. Melee the controls, yeah, you know the GameCube controller's not the best. I do like having the instant smash attack on the C stick though; it was kind of nice. Um, oh, we are on some sort of F zero track. I forget the names. I know one's like Mute City and that one's Big Blue. I think this is Mute City. Because I don't see the, the water slide that Big Blue has. I do know that this is like Rainbow Road Jr. in my head because these tracks are always just fast. Trying to make a Krinko Commander deck. Any help? Um, lots of goblins, lots of things that make Krinko untap, and uh, a couple of rituals. If you can get Krinko really going on like turn three, you can take down the whole table depending. Oh, and Paul Frost. You absolutely have to have, like, Impact Trimmers or Paul Frost to make it really disgusting. I used to have a Krenko deck. It was not bad, but I actually went to a Kiki Jiki deck. I, I like playing the control element just a little bit better. But yeah, uh, Lightning Shadow, the the GameCube controller did not really want lend itself well to a lot of fighting games. I mean, Capcom vs. SNK 2, which was on uh, GameCube, was it was probably one of my favorite games overall for fighting games at the time. Oh, off the edge. The only thing Star will not save me from is going off the track. But um, it was really bad on GameCube because just the way the button placement was. It's why Smash is pretty good, because it only has two combat buttons. Oh, no problem at all, James. Uh, I also recommend going to the official Commander forums, mtgcommander.net. Um, there's a lot of real good helpful people in a casual type atmosphere on that particular forum. There are a couple trolls, but you get that with any kind of online community, even ours. And of course, one of the best commander resources lately is EDH Rack for commander recommendations. Up oh, off the edge I go. And Bullet Bill to the rescue! Making sure I don't drive off the edge, because Bullet Bill does that. And we're about to get, looks like, fifth place across the finish line. Boom! And here we go, driving a little bit more. And it looks like Melissa and Kasaki have also gotten across the finish line. Put me in fourth. I'm okay with fourth place overall so far. Fighters always run. Oh, Lightning Shadow, that's because you're pushing too far on the joystick. On uh, GameCube, the actual, it's a, it's a sensitivity thing. You gotta get really precise with it. Which is, yeah, there, there's definitely an argument for it there. Um, let's see. Big blue. No, no, no. Let's, uh, let's, no, let's go back to, to Wario's Mount Wario. We still haven't gotten that one to fire off yet. And Turtle Club, of course, you know the way it works. We do four mirror mode races, which is what we're on right now. 
currently two out of those four, and we are pressing on. Looks like we got two people wanting the Excite Bike. I'm good for some Excite Bike. Oh, but it's Rainbow Road Space Station. Rip Mag. Here we go. Zombie Billy choosing the Rainbow Road. And we're about to uh, fall off the edge a lot. <laughs> oh, thanks, Zombie Billy. Appreciate you, bud. It's going to be... Uh, going to be one of those races, Turtle Club, where I'm going to be flying off toward the planet somewhere with the track being somewhere in the rearview mirror. Someone else can have that red shell, hopefully. You're joining a few? Okay. No worries, Posh. No worries, dude. And Posh, I don't know if you saw it or not, man, but I played that uh, Gunslinger Clive today. It was pretty fun. Thank you for that. We actually uh, wound up beating it with Clive and the Duck. Um, any kind of game that's got like a duck for a hidden character is kind of cool, in my opinion. I think the lightning bolt just saved me from the edge. Oh, there's some red shells just chilling there, though. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun, man. It was interesting. I, I wasn't expecting the, the aliens to kind of pop out and say, hey. I, like, made a joke that the blue-skinned cowboys were obviously aliens, and lo and behold, they were, which was kind of fun. All right, let's... let's it's kind of slow and steady wins the race, or slow and steady at least doesn't get out of space. Boom! Pump for Smash Bros. on Switch. I, yeah, a lot of people are. A lot of people absolutely are. It, it looks good. It looks good. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. But there's so many good games on Switch. I mean, there is just a, an avalanche of good games on Switch, PC. Uh, even PlayStation 4 and Xbox are getting some good games. So, you know, it's it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun 2018, guys, especially in the summer when some of these games just start hitting. I think that bullet bill just ate the red shell that was coming after me. I'm I'm okay with that mostly. We still haven't fallen off the course yet, so that's that's a plus. I'm definitely um, almost in last place. Oh, there's a bullet bill. That'll help. Will that actually get me past the problem area? Um, nope. Okay. Hitting that green shell kind of helps, though. Ah, off the edge I go. And boom! Blue shelled past the finish line. We're okay with that, though. Got a uh, star in third place, and lightning bolt hits you. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, Zombie Billy, no worries, man. We, we totally get it, guys. Life happens while we make other plans. Even if those plans are Mario Kart. And for those of you in the Turtle Club that are watching, welcome back. And those that are new, of course, um, just barely snuck by me. Hey, Drew, it happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. But for those of you that are new, my name is Mag Synchro. That's uh, based on an old D&D &D name I had. I'm one of two streamers on Convertible Turtle Gaming. The other is my wife, Dig Rat. Blue Shell and you as an eight. Oh, wow. Wow. That was, that was pretty rough, James. That's pretty rough. I do family-friendly streaming. Digrat does mature audience streaming. We stream across the weekend. She streams Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Skyrim Sundays. I stream all the other times on the channel. Um, we do Fridays, obviously, because you're here. You're joining after dinner, and after you get Smash, we'll donate if you don't have it. Oh, wow, Slash. Um, really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate that. Final race, and it's another Rainbow Road. But it's Galaxy Express Rainbow Road. I'm okay on this one. I uh, I think I've taken first once on it, so... 
I, I don't know how that happened. Um, I've, I've rewatched the video and still have no clue. I just kind of got in the zone and like zen through it, I guess. Getting hit by red shells definitely won't give me first place, but you know, throwing red shells will. And I think it's because there's just some really good drift lines in this particular course. When you, when I am, we are getting snowstorm. Oh, Sally, no bueno. Lots of areas getting snow right now. Um, Nor'easter, yep, as Degret was just saying, Nor'easter has been wrecking the eastern part of North America. Uh, it's, it's left Georgia alone, so I'm okay with that part of it. But it definitely has not decided to untouch everything from like Virginia northward all the way into parts of Canada. Which the... Oh, wow. So, the bomb just took out all three of my green shells. That's kind of rude. I don't think I've ever seen the train, like, drop coins, though. That's kind of neat. Oh, wrecked by a blue shell. Only expecting... Oh, only forecasting five centimeters. Twi oh, wow. So, four times the amount that the weather people were telling you. That's, that's hard to plan for. Here comes the finish line. Do, 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 do. Bam, boom. That is that is unfortunate, Sally. You know, I've I've been there. It's it's never fun. Um, not 20 centimeters of snow. I, I think the most we've ever had was like maybe a foot. Maybe well, maybe more than that. GG James. GG. All right, and overall standings coming up. DJ Brad, Master, Diamond, Zombie Billy, and CT Gaming YouTube. So I took fifth. I'm pretty good with that. I'm pretty good with that. Melissa taking tenth. GG on that, Melissa. And guys, that means we have finished the four mirror mode. So the first thing we do is we're going to go to our friends list to see if we have any new friends. Gold trophy. Yeah, Jordan, that's what happens, man. That's what happens. All right, so... Bam, back here. Every snow we've had has been half more than they forecasted. Well, that's pretty good, zombie. All right, and random battle. No teams, normal items, three minutes, no computers. And the round count, of course, will be five rounds. And we are going to go and load this up with all vehicles. Get this going. Making sure we have everything the way it's supposed to be. We don't want another, like, you know, 19 battle mode or something by accident. Snowed on your birthday. Well, that's, that's Spiffy Lightning Shadow. Happy birthday. Um, Daiho, okay. Or Diho, or Dio, or... Definitely an interesting name. I think that's uh, Indigo D's son. If I remember right. We'll soon see, because I know Indigo D's kid, he likes to drive as uh, Bowser Jr. Yep, I, th I thought so. Alright, so we're going to do random on a stage, because it's never really that good. In Nova Scotia, we always get a lot of snow in the winter. We have pretty lucky so far. Well, and it's not really winter anymore, Sally. I mean, this Sunday, and that is a valid thing to point out, guys. Sunday, if I recall correctly, is spring forward. So Saturday night's arc stream, um, it's going to start like an hour, like earlier ish or later. I, I'm trying to remember what happens because it's like either one o'clock jumps forward or uh, two o'clock it jumps forward. But but I uh, I know I'll look down at the clock and all of a sudden three o'clock will be upon us. Coin runners running for coins. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Snow until May. Oh wow! See that the the whole entire climate on the planet is changing. Um, you know, I'm not saying that global warming is real or fake, but I am saying that right now it is really cold out in Georgia. 
um, and then really warm out in Georgia. But not windy. That's that's the one thing I do like about Georgia is we don't have the Oklahoma wind that I, I'm used to. Uh, being used to is not the same as being happy about it. That's for certain, Turtle Club. All right. Yep, that is definitely Indigo's son. Let's go ahead and say hi to him. Hello, Daiho. This stage, this stage here for Coin Runners, I'm actually pretty happy with. I'm not really happy on Shine Thief for this stage. Hey, opponents, how's it going? Welcome to Free For All Friday. Uh, James, no, man, we don't usually do team matches. Uh, team matches get really, really unfair, really, really fast. Hey, Chance, how you doing, man? Uh, we, we, we've done a team match once that I can recall, and like everyone who was really good got put on one team, and everybody who wasn't got put on the other. And it just got really unfair and fun really, really fast. Uh, Nomin on Lake Curry. Ooh, man. I had um, some chili cheese tater tots today made fresh by Dig Rat. It was a nice bowl. Chili cheese, uh, chili cheese tater tots and some diced onion. It was, it was delicious. Fire in the... Boom. Oh. Alright, let's see here if we can... not blow myself up with my own bomb. Maybe get some of Zombie Billy's coins here. Oh, maybe not. Ah. Wrecked. Correct. But yeah, curry's always good. I, I like a, a good curry over rice. Usually it depends upon the kind of curry though as to what else I want to have with it. Um, some beverages are better with curry, some are not. Magabuse, oh there's always Magabuse opponents on this channel. On this game there's always Magabuse. GG, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zombie Billy got a pretty good pile of coins there, man. Oh, and the banner stuff covered it up. I, uh... I need to fix that. Let's 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 fix this for... Whoops, that's awfully big. Let's move this over here. Just doing some... Whoops... Uh, try to click in the middle of it and there we go you like it most after letting it and the rice blend in the oh yeah oh yeah cold preferably uh, I don't know about cold curry You downgraded to a PS3 because internet is free and Xbox One broke. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I had a PlayStation 3 for a very long time. I actually won one through my company. They did... Oh, Dodge the Law. Oh, it's on the map that I like to dodge the law on, too. That's cool. Um, but, you know, I, I reviewed what I actually was doing on the PlayStation 3. And after looking it over and scanning what it was possible to do on it and everything... Um, I was only using it for Netflix. Like, seriously, I had three games on it, maybe four games on it. And I was only using it for Netflix in not even the games. Being chased by it. Oh, James got me. Oh. Freedom! Freedom! Sanctuary! Sanctuary! See if I can do donuts. Donuts in the cage. Donuts in the cage. Not a fan of food hot. Hmm. Well, 
that that could be for a number of reasons. Some people just don't like the temperature difference. I don't know. I, a good curry, depending upon the actual gravy it's got in it, um, when it gets cold, it kind of congeals a bit. Alright, I gotta turn directions. I'm getting a little dizzy. Uh oh, I don't know who the link player is, but uh, if you could free us, that'd be great. I don't know where he's hiding. Oh, I think it's Zombie Billy. I think he's in my hiding spot. Ah, GG, GG. You're in your own cell, Lightning Shadow. Okay, that happens sometimes. Yeah, Zombie Billy. It was down to you, man. You were the chosen one. You were the chosen one to bring balance. Oh. Should not have came out of spot. Hey, Zombie Billy, it's a good spot, man. It's a good spot. The only thing that I kind of feel bad for, right, when we play this, anyone who's watching it can see my screen so they can see my map. So on Cops and Robbers or, or Law and Renegades or whatever it is, it, it's not fair to the team that I'm sharing with because everybody else can know where we're at. Hey, Nolk and Scott, welcome to the actual channel. My name is Mag Synchro. We're playing some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Nintendo Switch with our subscriber base information in the details for the video, guys. We're currently on our five random battles. Having a blast. Of course, two and a half hours from now will be about when we do our 200cc mode. Ricky Bobby Fast is what we'll be doing. Third round. All right. Shine Thief. Oh, shine on. Also known as Zombie Billy's preferred mode. I am nowhere near the shine. So instead of chasing after it, I'm going to grab some power-ups. That's a mushroom. We're good with the mushroom. Alright, come on, Billy. Come on. I know you're the one with it. In my hiding spot. Oh my gosh, Zombie Billy. That's too good. It's too good. I think Zombie Billy just takes this one. I, w I was waiting cautiously for him to come out and he just. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, he got whacked, but he didn't drop the shine. Oh, he dropped it there. Can someone else recover it? That's the question now. Just not talking. Okay. No worries, Posh. No worries, dude. Oh, it's Masters got it now. First time visiting my channel. Well, thanks for visiting the channel, man. Um, and for those also that are joining with Nolan Scott, my name is Mag Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming. We do family-friendly streaming. Uh, way cool. Way cool. I'd like to see that YouTube's actually uh, kind of promoting the channel. Always good to see that. All right. And we have a princess who's coming over. And... I don't know if we're going to be able to tag him with a fireball or not. I think he's got it, though. I think he's got it. GG, guys. GG. DJ Brad, Zombie Billy, of course, about neck and neck with those two top spots. Not usual that Zombie Billy and Billy kind of... Kind of shocking there. Um, shocked and amazed. Not amazed that anyone can actually win, um, other than myself, but just kind of not the way I was predicting it to go. It usually happens that way, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we almost got a full boat. You remain in third. Hey, Lightning Shadow, third's not a horrible place to be. Uh, not many thing, but you had two seconds left. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you 
Oh, other or do you other mini games on Switch? Uh, Nolkin, um, I have uh, Snipper Clips, Bomberman, Mario Kart, Breath of the Wild, Mario Rabbids. Uh, hey, Stephen Thompson, welcome to the chat. And uh, Ben Mario, how's it going? Um, I, I, if you do exclamation consoles, that's the plural. Nightbot will tell you all the consoles I have. Uh, last year I streamed almost 50 games, I think. Maybe more than that. I can't remember what the actual ex uh, total was there. Um, but uh, we, we play so many games on this channel, uh, back and forth and stuff. It just, it kind of matters a bit. Oh, James, you got the dreaded disconnection. The dreaded disconnection bug. Thanks for the console commands, guys. And so uh, keeping track of all my games not exactly the easiest thing, but we try, we try. What is the year 100 roll on Discord? Posh! That hunt roll is for anyone who joined in our scavenger hunt. So our actual subscription uh, in Discord, if you are a Turtle Club member who joined in the actual scavenger hunt festivities, that's a new roll that you've got. And that's just a way to kind of have a memorial to the fact that we had a fun time this year. Kind of like how there's a, a 2017, uh, member since 2017 roll. We we want to we want to absolutely absolutely thank those people in our actual community who join in who have fun and just kind of you know have a good time since Discord doesn't really limit on the number of roles and we just got us a new friend request we'll be accepting that of course after battle mode and let's see if we can't snipe DJ Brad maybe oh no DJ Brad with the invincibility I appreciate Nolkin appreciate it man. So you would be in it, but your other role. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, Posh. Um, I'm pretty sure you got the the year 100 role. But keep in mind, though, Posh, you're also a supporter of the channel, and supporters have a higher rank than year 100s. So the orange name is to kind of give that a a, a differentiation for those that are. You know, non-supporters, non-turtle club. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You are you are a year one hunter. Uh, you can see your roles when you take a look at your stats and information. Yeah. So that the, the dark name is the is the supporter role, and that's because Posh actually donated a game to the channel, and that was actually fun. I mean, I had a good time playing the game. the The duck was just just hilarious to play as. Was not expecting the duck. I just sidelined Posh. I don't think I quite sidelined him. Can't wait? Okay. No worries, man. I hit DJ Brad, and we're going to drop that off for chance. Oh, I got to make sure that I don't... Oh, zombie Billy blew me up. I got bombed by the Billy. Um, I didn't see the direct yet, Stephen, but uh, a lot of people have been telling me about it. I I have a, a regular hourly, well, I say regular. It's a pretty demanding hourly position that I work. So sometimes I miss stuff. Um, you sidelined a bot because you got a com error. Oh, posh, uh, rough, rough. Yep, it will be fun, win or lose, man. That's the point. Ben Mario is win or lose. We are all, all about having a good time. And we have, you know, just ways that we like to do that. We have a method for it. Really can't wait for some of the games on Switch. Neither can I. Um, there's so many great games on Switch. I just, oh, wow, you know. It's it's tough to choose which to play. I've got games on Switch I still haven't beaten anywhere near beaten. I beat Bomberman, which was a great story mode. It takes about four hours to beat it, which kind of disappointing, to be really honest. The story's not different when you choose different characters. Okay, James, no worries. We do have an E3 coming. We do. Um, do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, the thing they did with gold coins on it was really cool. I didn't see that either. Um... But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Ben, you read the description. You know exactly how to use the join command. You need to read it again. The next time you ask will be the last time you ask. Sorry, dude. That's just the rules. 
and we make sure that everybody is adherent to the same rules. I swear when they announced Okami Remake, I almost had a heart attack. You know, um, so the funny thing about Okami, Stephen Thompson, is I just got it for Xbox. It's what we're going to be uh, playing on next morning uh, morning uh, for Friday. Um, oh, bomb blast. So I was kind of like, wow. I, no worries, man, no worries. We, we want to make sure that everybody understands the rules and adheres to it. We try to make sure everybody gets at least a, uh, a balanced game through. And the way we do that is make sure that we accept friend requests at the start of pairings and not in the middle. And also keeps the action flowing. So what is step two and more about friend requests? Noel Ken Scott, uh, you, uh, <laughs> you'll see it in the actual uh, description. We have all the steps lined up as to how we play. Uh, got it on Wii. Okay, cool. I've, uh, I've heard really good things about it. I've never played. I've never played. I know one of our mods, Catwater, really likes the game. Um, and so when I saw my company give it as a, a, an actual option, I, uh, I went ahead and got it. Do not lock your nickname. You should change it. Well, uh, well <laughs> that's up to you, man. That's up to you. What's in a name? Even if you change it, you're still the same, as is stated by some people. All right, and that wasn't even a long shot that had a chance of hitting chance. Let's see if we can... Oh, we got chance that time. There we go. I actually hit somebody. I might have got somebody building on that. Maybe not. But you can see there, Nolan Scott and, and the rest of the Turtle Club, as far as the description in the video goes, it tells you what order we play games, and it has numbers, and it tells you in between certain rounds, we, we actually do friend requests. All righty. I think this is where we can kind of do the, the drift thing. Yes, this is our drift circle. Every map for the bomb blast has a nice little polite drift circle. And we try to try to keep those. We drop bombs like bread plums. Uh oh. James hit me. Wasn't expecting James to hit me. You haven't played Mario Kart 8 in a long time. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks for me. It's been a couple of weeks for me, Nolkin. It's uh, it's definitely one of the more entertaining games for versus. I like the fact that there's multiple modes, and it allows people of all different skill levels to just have a good time. That's kind of you know the thing about it. Um, I do find it funny. There, there is some developer that has a, another game coming to Switch potentially. And that, yeah, I, I got oopsed out there. It happens, Ben. It happens. But they said that if we don't get Virtual Console soon on Switch and Joy-Cons that actually have good buttons on them, that they're not going to produce for the Switch. So we'll see if their demands get met or not. All right, Drew. Well, thanks for suggesting the game, Drew. Really appreciate it. And thanks for being a sponsor of the channel. It's super awesome, Drew. Really appreciate everything that you've done for the channel. Really do, man. GG to DJ Brad, Zombie Billy, Master, Daiho, Melissa, Kataski, James, myself. I got eighth. Wow. Okay. Posh and Chance. All right. Uh, mentioned Rocket League. Oh, okay. Well, Rocket League's not bad. Rocket League's not bad. Okay. So now, guys, we're going to go over to friend requests because we are in between our modes. We got one pending. Going to go, it's Ben. Hey, it's Ben. It's a me, Ben Mario. That's it. Kind of rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ben Mario. Um, our YouTube channel name. So that's one thing to point out, of course, if you're new to the channel. Convertible Turtle Gaming is a shared stream channel with myself, Mag Synchro, and Dig Rat. Uh, Dig Rat's my wife. Love her to death. Um, she does not do family friendly um, on her stream. It is mature audience. The game itself is mature audience as well. So that's one of the reasons why we kind of do that. All right, so now we're going to our four mirror mode races, guys. So no teams, normal items. We want the easy computer players because I like to feel like I'm at least in a race and not following everything behind. That and I think people will absolutely admit, um, how do you make your name orange in chat? Uh, so, Zombie Billy, that is not a supporter thing. That is a year one um, 
scavenger hunt. Anyone who participated in the scavenger hunt that actually supplied an answer or tried to give hints or tried to collect data for the scavenger hunt has the year one hunter, and that's why they have the orange tag. Not everyone won a prize in the scavenger hunt, but that's the, the best thing that well, we could do. So if you didn't participate in the scavenger hunt, which went on for over two months, um, it's, it's, it's one of those things. It's a title tag. But don't worry, guys. We, we know that people like that kind of thing on Convertible Turtle. Uh, so, we, you know, we're moving forward. There will be some other opportunities to kind of earn stuff like that. All right. And spectating. Okay. No worries, Ben. Um, if you're spectating, that could be because we have a full room. If we do have a full room, we usually do close the room in between modes. We got to get SpongeBob back. Uh, no, SpongeBob isn't something that we got to get back, guys. Nintendo Switch is your favorite console ever. You know, it is definitely my favorite console, the Switch. My second is the Ouya. I uh, really like my little Ouya. I don't get to play it as much, but it is what it is. Um, we do have a non-English speaker in the room, so let's see if we can do some one-handed Mario for a second, maybe. Ah! And see what they might be saying. Oh, I'm gonna get wrecked for a bit, guys. Sorry about that. We have someone saying hello. And then after saying hello... Oh! A communications error has occurred. Oh! That's no bueno. All right, and we'll just let them know in Japanese that we do not speak the language. Yeah, we got we got all that. Uh, that happens when I disconnect. Um, occasionally, my internet does go bad. It's one of those things that you know it's it's just the way that it is. Wait, who we got here? Uh, okay, YouTube Speed. I don't know who that is. Someone who's actually joined our friends at one point. So we'll be going back to Mirror Mode Land back with our car and hopefully the internet will not drop us this time and since we do have a friend request that just came in we'll go ahead and accept that as well kind of in the under the wire there oh, all right cool Nolkin. boom all right back out mario kart that is cool that you can just click a couple buttons and be speaking a different like Oh, Zombie Billy, you know, that kind of, it, it blows my mind a bit, you know? It really does. What's really interesting, um, I actually recently saw a Japanese game show. I do watch a lot of Japanese programming. And the, the funny thing is Japanese game shows are really weird, right? They're just so unusual. You go, wow, that's a game show. I, I never would have thought that. And the game show was they had a segment called speak like a native and they had a translation game app on their phone and they had to say a word into their phone which translates into it and then repeats it out want to know what is your clan name uh, clan names might get you in trouble here Nolkin. Um, we, we try to uh, keep the clan names out of it but um, it's up to you. You can absolutely say that. But if it's anything that may be tied to a group that's not really friendly, um, you could wind up possibly getting kicked. So we don't want to do that, man. We want to have fun here. Uh, so easy calm, all vehicles, four races, normal items, no teams, mirror mode race. A lot of people are either still racing on, on the last w uh, room or they just moved on to somewhere else. Classic boys. Okay. Okay. Well, cool. We've got uh, a couple of guys that have a CTDS for their actual clan name, which is for Convertible Turtle Duck Squad. That's between myself and Chadley. Uh, our two channels overlap at times. I'm going to choose Mount Wario and see if we can do this backwards. Mount Wario is probably the most interesting, in my mind, um, of the actual races, because it's a downhill race. 
when you reverse it, it's still downhill. Which means this particular mountain is downhill both ways. Which means if you flip it, it's uphill both ways. Mind blown. I mean, my dad was right. You can go up the snow both directions, guys. It's, it's, it's only in a video game. But not in real life that I've noticed. But yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this engine running. Vroom, vroom, and here we go. Bam. Everyone else is better. Better than what we get. Alright. That's a banana peel out in the middle of the desert, which will never get slipped on. Oh, and the desync is real, guys. I just watched somebody drive through a cactus. Alright, and here we go. Do, 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 do. Star of power with some mushroom backup. This level is, uh, you know, it's not too horrible. I, I like some of the artistic stuff that happens in this game. That's the one thing. Even if I'm, like, in last place, the way the stages are built always make me, like, kind of excited. Because of the nostalgia, you know. Some of these games I've played, some of these levels I've actually walked through in different styles. Uh, this is clearly reminiscent of Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, where there's the desert stage with the pumpkins, or not the pumpkins, but the cacti. Getting squidded. Oh, underneath. Thread in the needle. Let's just feed that sandworm. Oh, and chance overtaken me. Chance is absolutely one of those Sleeping Dragon players, guys. He, uh, I still remember a couple of weeks ago, he, he took first on a Rainbow Road. It was it was a really bad run for everybody else, but Chance had beat us by several several track weeks. So you can never just think some person is going to be either good or bad. It's in any given Sunday kind of game. I have my own, you know. Some days I'm really, really good. Uh, other days is like every other day of the week. Bam! Destroying cactuses everywhere I go. Uh, no, nah, Undertale for Switch makes sense. Uh, Undertale, uh, you know, games that are just nice for a portable kind of handheld just makes sense. Oh. Person that just got blue shield is going to be happy. Um, that he just got red shell too. Happy, happy blue shell, red shell combo. Boom, boom, boom. Bam! Alright, DJ Brad, Daiho, Posh, CT, GG guys, GG! I don't know who I double shelled like that, but uh, it was nice to kind of just roll those shells like that. All right, now we're going to queue up Mount Wario again, see what we get. Oh, we got a whole lot of yuck. Ain't really even playing today, just sitting back having a good time. Today. Hey, Billy, that's that's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. You can't be serious business all the time. Some days you just got to realize at the end of the stream, it's just a game. The purpose of it is to have fun. And if we had money on the line or something, then, you know, that makes things different, you know? That makes things different. That's the one thing that I always consider to be the difference between casual and hardcore is, is there something at stake? Other than the fact you can tell somebody my internet um, score is better than yours. Why? Because Kazudu's not here? <laughs> uh, you know, Kazudu might be at work. He's had some, and he's got a lot of snow in that area of the country, my understanding, too. So, I don't know. Uh, he popped in this morning. Here we go, Mount Wario and the downhill climb. Woohoo! I like really, really just straightforward courses like this. I, I, I know it's a simple life turtle club, but 
Simple life is usually the best way to go about it. Boom. Over the edge and exploding. <laughs> Not quite exploding, but awfully close. Alright. Here we go, lap one, quote unquote, is done. Bam! Bam! Boom! Alright, let's see, can we hit this ramp? Nope, we can hit the rock instead. And those are the turtle club that, of course, that are not in the United States. Or maybe, you know, in the later part of the United States. Always remember, we do have, of course, Mag versus Wild coming on tonight at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's about six hours from now. And that's our Ark Survival Evolved on the island map. We're getting pretty good at that particular map. We've only covered about maybe 10% of it. Not sure what we're going to be doing tonight, but we will be doing something fun. Wait, 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 wait. I'm in first place. Did everybody else disconnect? I'm not sure. I, uh, I'm not used to being in first. Oh, Daiho! Taking my power-up boxes. Alright, this is what I'm used to. I'm used to being in second place underdog. And usually still being in second place as an underdog. I hope that lightning bolt actually hit the red shell. It'd be great. Engage the green rocket. And we aren't going to hit Daiho with that one. That's for certain. Now, I can't even claim it's a it's a character thing because Daiho loves to play Bowser Jr. alongside me. Which will be fun because there's two Bowser Juniors that actually took the lead on this one. Some Bowser Jr. power there. Oh, GG, absolutely. Oh, good game, good race. Having a blast tonight, Turtle Club. Another shout out again, of course, to Drew for picking the game. Drew, awesome, man. And of course, you know, that means also, guys, that this is a new Free For All Friday week. Starts during this stream. So if you'd like to see any particular game played that we have in our library, then we absolutely recommend making sure that you tip this week, and that way you have an option for the choice. Um, you know, we haven't done it Psych Bite yet. Here we are, here we are. Okay, go on. Okay, you can absolutely join Discord, nothing wrong with that at all. We do recommend that if you decide to join into our Discord, that you want to read the rules, make sure you're familiar with them, because they are really important. Um, doo -doo -doo. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. Here we are. Third race. Looks like it's big blue. Yuck. The music for Big Blue is just awesome, though. It takes me back to Smash Brothers Melee. It takes me back to F Zero, the original racing game that Nintendo had. It'd be great if they brought it back. I would love to see an F Zero with like tilt controls, like F Zero Light Speed or something. Hey, Timothy Johnson, not much, man. That's what we're playing on. Nintendo Switch, because it's the only console this game's on. This is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, I wasn't in second place fast enough. But, because I was in second place, I recovered super fast. That's the thing. If you are in a lower placement... And then first, when that blue shell hits you, you recover fast. Of course, we went all the way from first to fifth, which is no point. No, but, you know, can't help it. Bam. Boom. Someone else can have the blue shell this time. I didn't quite care for it. I'm returning it. Oh, 
Whoa, lightning bolted midway through. Oh, but, but, I picked up someone else's mushroom. Still not going to get, oh, I might get fifth, I might get fifth. Someone went off the, oh, come on, just a crow. Oh, someone, someone capped me as I was going forward. Chance with the last second, no thank you, Mag. Good, oh, nice desync. Desync for the record, you know, it's, it's pretty good, guys. Oh, Timothy, the ink's pretty good. Uh, depending upon the mode you're playing on, the ink can be like a rock star. It really can. It really can. Bum, 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 bum. And here we go, guys. We have seven racers in the actual course right now for this mirror mode. And after this, of course, we go ahead and accept our friend requests. And then we play... Battle mode random. Five rounds of battle with all the fighting fingers you can take. And we're about to enter hour two of our four hour long stream. So, super awesome there. It's only 25% of the way through tonight's stream, guys. Love it, love it, love it. Would love to go to the N64 days. Do you still play with Nom Entertainment? No, Timothy Johnson. I do not. Uh, Nom Entertainment and I parted ways. Uh, Nom Entertainment parted ways, actually. Uh, Islam and Hyperion and Nom Entertainment no longer speak to each other. Um, I no longer speak with Islam. Hyperion and I speak with each other. Little help, you try to type the password and it won't work. Um, it will, uh, Nolkin. I guarantee you it will. Uh, we have people typing in that password every single day. I'll take a look though after the stream is over is when I actually go through Discord because we want to make sure that everyone gets uh, to, to get some game time in. If there's any technical difficulties with the game or the stream, then that's when we can change things up and kind of pause a bit. But yeah, Timothy, uh, there was just uh, some issues with that, and we just had to we had to cut ties. We had to cut ties. I appreciate it, Nolkin. We have to make sure that you understand the rules. That's that's the big thing about the rules page. Reading it and understanding it are two different things. Oh, oh, I dodged the red shell. I looped it out of the way and still second red shell came by and said, not today, Mag, not today. Woohoo! So we'll give one for It's Ben. We'll give one for Chance, because we don't know who got us with the red shell. Lightning Bolt with the Bullet Bill backup. No bueno. No bueno. And we are on the last lap. Boom. Eighth place. We're fighting for eighth, and it's a fight. We're actually fighting for seventh. We'll see what happens. Drift going, see if we can beat this Dry Bones. Oh, we got this Dry Bones beat because we just... Oh, Lightning. Oh, Bullet Bill. No. Oh. We thought we had it. And Zombie Bullet Billy with the bullet. That's a Zombie Billy Bullet Bill. Zombie Bullet Billy. Zombie Bullet Billy. All right. And... Nope, Nolkin. You've, you've not done anything correct at this point, man. You've not done anything correct at this point, dude. Uh, you got to read the, all the rules, man. Read all the rules. Do 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 do
All right, and it looks like Chance is in. Oh, sweet. Sorry, you can't control Bullet Bill. Well, you know that happens. We don't. We totally understand that, Zombie Billy. All right, and let's go over here to our friends' requests. We have a friend request coming in, and it is. I I don't know exactly how to pronounce some of those actual Greek letters. So we don't know exactly what that is. Hulu is on Switch now. Yes, Hulu has been on Switch for a while now, Alienated One. Funny story, though. Uh, I can't watch it because the way my actual Switch is connected, I have to watch it in portable mode. Or I have to disconnect everything and then go to it. But yeah, it's definitely a, a nice way to watch, though, with the kickstand and all that. Well, it was a bill, so you think a spiritual connection with them. Oh, yes. I, I, I don't disagree there, Posh. I mean, Zombie Billy, Bullet Bill, Zombie Bullet Billy, you know, I mean, it makes sense to me. Um, Alright, so guys, we're going to go to No Computers for five rounds of the Battle Mode. And we allow up to any vehicle, and all 12 of you guys, or 11 of you guys that want to join in, can absolutely join in. We're going to go to the Start Battle, so everyone can pop in and say hi. But yeah, Nolkin, man, I already checked. Uh, looks like you are still able to agree to the rules, but you have to read all the rules and you have to understand what they are. Okay, we're going to choose random, of course. Random battle, random map. What could go wrong? In short, everything. We have done a number of things that have kind of just blown up in our face. Bombs, balloons, all sorts of other stuff. All sorts of other stuff. And Nolkin Scott, I see according to my Discord log, you are now part of Discord. GG, congrats on that, man. Bum, 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 bum. Alrighty. Do, do, do. And speaking of our Discord, you're hanging around. Well, we totally understand opponents. Uh, coin runners here on this stage. Sweet. With only six people running on the coin runners map, it's going to be really interesting. Uh, that's that's the rules, man. Nolkin, that's that's, and that's one of the reasons why we have the rules room set up that way. And not because you know, no one's dumb. Um, well, some people are dumb, but you know, being dumb simply means that you don't know nothing and you don't want to know nothing. Uh, being ignorant, that's different. That means you don't know something, such as the password to our rules room, and you want to know it, which you fix by reading through the rules. And that also helps us to prove later if you violate a rule that you read the rules because you couldn't be in there without reading them. Oh, I know you're sitting right there, alienated one. You're guarding the, the not a space laser. Tasty bread. Well, bread and curry is a pretty good pairing, actually. Oh, I got shelled. Shock and awe, shock and awe. Turtle abuse. Turtle on turtle violence. Call the ASPCA. Not only did they forcibly evict that poor turtle from his shell, but then he threw the shell at me. It's Ben. That's who did it. I know it anywhere. <clears throat> Four hours until they turn on the um no. <laughs> Yeah, Ixni on the Ace Pay Laser Pay. Alrighty, and I'm calling to report a case of turtle abuse. <laughs> Appreciate you reporting that in, opponents. When they ask you about the turtle and you tell them it's a 36 year old man with a goatee and a beard, they, they may, uh. Yeah, I don't think Posh will figure that one out. That's the reason why I said it that way. 
Ooh, bam, shell the chance. Um, I'm out of coins. I have no money at this point. I was doing pretty good. I remember at one point, I probably daydreamed it all, but I had a coin. Wow, the boomerang just like went off total screen. Ah. So many boomerangs, not enough time. Oh, what did we get? We got a coin. We got a coin. We just got to hold on to it. It's my precious. All right, Nolk and Scott, have fun, man. Take care. Octo expansion for Splatoon 2. Oh, okay. That's going to be cool, Slash. Um, I, I guess. Alrighty, and the next battle mode coming up here. GG, absolutely GG, Ben. You know, it's it's a fun kind of got hit maybe. <laughs> I know Zombie Billy, it was like boomerangs everywhere. I just, some days the random number generator on Nintendo uh, feels like it's one of those coin boxes, Mario. In the same one, in the same one, in the same one, in the same one. <laughs> oh, Slash, no worries, man. Oh, Shine Thief, and the Shine's, like, right there. I can almost reach and grab it. And its bin was closer than I was. I, like, I saw it, and I was like, hey, it's, 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 it's finally somewhere I can get. And it wasn't there. Oh, zombie Billy, no! Ah! Oh, it's been with the... Bam! Well, dinner is not here, so I guess you'll join. Okay, Slash, time... Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, baking soda kind of needed for baking soda volcano shenanigans. Posh stole it, and while he was stealing it, he was invincible. It, it, it's not the first secret to learning rocketry. The first secret to learning rocketry is to realize that there's rocketry. The second secret is the vinegar and baking soda. Oh. Disregard. Disregard the turtle with the shine. Disregard the turtle with the shine. He is not there. He's merely invisible. Ah. Oh. Die ho! You took my shine! He wasn't making a volcano. <laughs> well, you know, it, it was a portable volcano. Wouldn't that be a heck of a weapon? A portable volcano. Here, I'll run interference for you, Die ho! Only until I can get close enough to get the shine myself. Oh, that was a square hit. Desync. Dodge the bomb. I dare you. Okay. So now that you've dodged the bomb, now what can I dare you to do? Um, GG Daiho. Just dropped your switch and caught it. Oh, that's that's definitely a good thing, Slash. I... I play docked all the time, and I've got these hands, guys. I mean, like, this is a water bottle. How? how? It happens, man. It happens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Australian internet sometimes comes out clutch, just as well as uh, Virginian internet does, too, sometimes. But yeah, desync is real, guys. Uh, we had a couple of square hits, but that happens on this game. Again, that's the reason why we play for fun. Uh, we, we don't play for winning. When playing for winning's sake is boring. If you're playing to win, that means that every time you lose, you fail. If you're playing to have fun, every time you win, you succeed. 
And that's that's the that's the difference. If you want to be successful, Virginia, no a billion. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, and sometimes the Georgia internet's pretty bad too for a Magian. Um, yeah, Virginia internet's pretty good for Shine Thief. Uh, Georgia internet's not so good, but when you're the host, it's not really that good either. Oh, cops and robbers! Whoever's on my team, um, I have no chance. I'm like I'm third place, and I'm paired with first and second. So it's like I'm playing this just to. I don't know. I, I don't know what I do at this point. Like, there's no strategy at this time, right? I mean, that's a good argument here for teams. You know, we might do a team game, like, on, at the 10 o'clock hour. Hi, Billy. I'll just follow you for a bit. Um, wow. Wow. I don't believe it. I have passed by so many cops. Oh no! <laughs> I just missed battle. How many more rounds? Um, like two maybe? Oh, okay, Slash. Well, I'm glad your food got there. Always have Kazuto. Yeah. If you always have Kazuto host it, it'll at least the game will stay you know solid for everybody else. I don't know if I can hide here for two minutes. I might be able to, but I, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Oh, somebody's definitely coming up to me. Bye, Posh. We're just going to back away. Oh no, dry bones! Oh, that dry bones got me. Here's my kind of weird question-ish for this particular mode, right? So I get that they're cops and that we are, you know, criminals in the cops and robbers sense, right? And they put us in this cage, which makes sense. But I don't remember getting hauled off and placed in that cage. And the time, being the way it is, seems to indicate that they don't do that either. Um, so one would beg the question, how do I make it from the cop all the way into the cage? Some questions are best not answered, Turtle Club. Some questions are best not answered. I think I, think I don't need to be thinking about that anymore. Yeah. Oh, Posh. It's, you said it, man. You said it. Oh. And then Daisy, it's called Mario Kart Logic. Uh, we'll go with that, Zombie Billy. We'll go with that. Mario Kart Logic makes a lot better sense in my head than um, the digestive track does. At least friendlier sense. You know, if I was like uh, Adrian Monk from Monk, that would be just horrifying. We got 10 seconds left to go. Let's see if we can keep the turtles out of the prison cell. Four, three, two. One. Yes! Only criminal out! <laughs> oh, zero inmates sprung. Good game, guys. Good game. That might have been the last battle, though. Maybe not. I think that might have been battle four. That's taking a while to load. Yeah, battle four. Okay. Wow, that was that was pretty good. It puts me solidly in third place, and it looks like uh, Daiho's got the hat. Daiho has a hat. It's a shiny gold hat with a lot of blingy on it. And all the mees are dancing. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Well, I got a little ahead on the count there. <laughs> boom, boom, ping. 
Mag needs the hat. Oh, I've got several hats, opponents. I got several hats. Bling. Balloon battle. With the internet, you'll connect to something and will have one second delay, mostly in like Call of Duty or Battlefield. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, uh. That's. That sounds like DSL Zombie Billy. Um, I hate to hate to call out an internet style or technology, but that's some pretty bad delay. Or well, that's actually a possibility that the company that you have for internet services doesn't have really good uh, what's called uh, NAPs or network access points. And guys, this is this is just basically fun for me at this point. Um, let's see if I can actually just keep threading the needle here. Oh, oh well, bam! It's better than rubber banding. Yeah, uh, rubber banding is one of those things I really hate on games. Like if a game rubber bands for its network code, that's that's some horrible stuff. And I understand why some games do it and some don't. Um, I understand it's a coding choice and a design philosophy. So, I mean, it's, you know. Oh, here comes Daiho. Daiho. So many bananas. I know, I know. You would think that I was a monkey instead of a turtle. Oh. First balloon popped. By myself. Oh! I hit its bin. I bounced right on his head. Um, well, at least the game thought I bounced on his head. That's kind of desync in my favor. Oh, and then its bin comes by and sidelines me. Still's a, I think he stole one of my balloons. I think he's got a yellow balloon. Yeah, he does. Careful, Ben. Most people hunt that yellow color. Um, oh, posh! Sorry, Posh. Didn't really work out for you that way. Oh. 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 Da, da, da. Zombie Billy! Look at that! That boomerang followed him for a while. I, uh, I wonder if boomerangs track on their last throw. Yep, and we've been sidelined down to one balloon. What would be really funny is if you had red balloons in here, you automatically had 99. Be a little unfair. It'd be kind of cool. That's what this game needs. Like battle mode needs like Mario Kart battle bosses or something. One! Ah, ah, ah. I'm happy with one. One's good. One's a nice solid number. Not too many. <laughs> and not nothing. Hey, Slacky Moo! Welcome to the actual game stream today, man. Appreciate you stopping in to say hi. Oh, wow! That was Battle 4. I can't count. I can count to one, but anything beyond that gets uh, too many, I guess. I don't know what happened before that round, but I killed that round. Oh, Zombie Billy, that's always good. Um, you know, Posh, it's totally up to you, man. It's, you know, when you become a supporter for the channel, it gives you the option and the opportunity to talk on stream with us. Keep in mind that we do have a family-friendly um, atmosphere on stream. Uh, so, you know, there are some differences there. You are correct, though. This is a public forum. And if you don't want everybody on the Internet hearing your voice, then maybe you don't want to talk. Some people choose not to. We've got a couple other people that don't talk when they come in, even though they have the opportunity to. And some people are shy. You know, I totally get that. I totally understand the shy thing. Let's see here. Final round, and what are we in? Ba-bomb blast. Oh, 
Lots of explosions, guys. Lots of explosions. Okay, well that's that's fair, Posh. Uh, that's fair. You know, some some people uh, some people don't realize when they swear, so it's it's all right. You know, Digrat's a good example of that. She's been doing really good though, guys. I gotta hand it to her. Last free for all Friday, I I, I don't think she cursed once. Maybe she might have cursed maybe once though. She made up for it on Sunday though. That was that's for certain. Ba -ba -boom. I'm getting blitzed. Your main reason for keeping off shit is the fact these streams are usually gone one one morning. Well, yes, that phone is. Uh, we totally understand that, and we're we're looking into uh, things we can do that aren't in a stream environment too. one of the reasons why we do have the uh, various LFG rooms on our actual Discord, so in case you're looking for someone to play games with, we have that opportunity. And everyone is able to voice chat in those rooms, and Turtle Club, I, uh, I really appreciate you guys being the coolest community out there, um, because we haven't, we have not had a single person uh, that we've had to ban or kick out of the public room. For anyone complaining or saying stuff about what they've said or done inside the actual chats and that is we've been at this for over a year and that in my opinion is extremely impressive that a group of 2,230 people not counting myself um, can keep themselves in check like that that's don't count Digrat Digrat says but you know that uh you know, that, that means a lot, guys. It really does. It, it makes my life easier the cooler you guys are. It really does. I, I've been part of communities that have been much smaller than that. Um, and it just... It, uh, it amazes me that those communities have gotten really out of hand. And our community is just awesome. Um, so, yeah, good guys. Um, I uh, started to ramble a bit there, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, good job on all that. Really appreciate that. Yeah, that kind of stuff lets us know that we can keep doing stuff like that. It's because you love us and Dig Rat. Oh, well, thanks, Zombie Billy. Really appreciate it, man. We love you too, guys. We love you too. It's, uh... It's been amazing. It's been amazing. Me and my yellow balloons and bombs... Any idea if Mr. Scared of Moon Land is going to show up tonight? I don't know, opponents. Kazudo uh, had to rush off to school this morning. Uh, like, his whole entire schedule seemed a little off, so I don't know. But I do know that Chadley's doing, like, a Mario Kart thing tonight, I think. So he might be playing over with Chadley. Um, so if you want to pop over there and say hi. If you guys know who Chadley is, he's an awesome streamer. Awesome streamer. It's been Daiho CT Gaming. Zombie Billy with the two points that round. Hey, victory GG. Absolutely, Ben. Absolutely. How did you do that? Um, you know, Zombie Billy, uh, you never know, man. You never can tell. You never can tell. Let's go, guys, to mirror mode racing. Um, no friend requests, so we're not going to be accepting any at this point. It's Ben with the hat. All right, so now here comes the easy comms. You know how to say that he has PTSD about Mumu? Well, I think he has CTSD. CTSD. I don't know what the C stands for. Something traumatic stress disorder though. I would have to guess. So here we go, guys. We are the accepted friend request for doing the four mirror mode races. Mirror race, no teams. Going to be a part of that event, Biz Internet decided nope. Oh, wow. Convertible turtle stress disorder. <laughs> Posh. That is, that is funny. That is funny. Uh, let's see here. Chadley's got, uh... I don't know if Chadley's got stuff going on or not. Um... Wow. 
There's a... Uh, interesting. I'm just taking a look at what Chadley's got going on. It's pretty cool. Let's go to the site bike real quick. MTSD, Moo Moo Stress Disorder. Ah, that's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, you got it. If you want to like tag people in uh, YouTube chat, Billy, it's the at symbol. It highlights their name. Sometimes if you just say it, it highlights their name. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, it'll actually it'll get their name uh, if you. I think you use the at symbol. It'll actually auto complete. Baby Park, here we go. It is, of course, the chaos that ensues with the shells and the bombs and the lightning. Yeah, that's what happens with your name. Yes, zombie. When people use your name, uh, it's supposed to help keep the conversation flowing. It's something that actually I cannot turn off on YouTube, which is it's good for me because when people say Mag Synchro, uh, it, it doesn't actually tag me, but if somebody says Convertible Turtle, it tags me. It's, it's, it's really weird. Because I'm the streamer and not the uh, you know the channel. Here comes the red shell. Boom! Oh, here we go. We're gonna eat everything that this plant will eat. It won't eat bananas. It summoned you. Ah, that's interesting. Boy, that would be kind of a weird race to be like just only gold mushrooms. I just absolutely love boomerangs. Boomerangs are really good. They're really versatile for what we do. I'll pull up the side bike, see if we can get that going again. Bum, 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 bum. And I was just popping up chattily to see how he's doing, guys. Looks like Chadley's a Yoshi player. Interesting. Oh, he's got his own me with his own little helmet and everything. That's cool, too. Stop choosing Rainbow Road random person. <laughs> oh, random person who doesn't look like Zombie Billy at all. Ah. <laughs> uh. Here we go. We got Excite Bike popping up. I'm excited for Excite Bike. Calm error. Thanks, Mario Kart. Well, it looks like the random person won't be choosing Rainbow Road again. Virginia Internet doesn't like Rainbow Road either, apparently. Looks like Zombie Billy's like avatar, though, is still like jumping and doing this stuff. Boom, ba boom. Go with mud and with my ATV. I won't miss with the red shell. Mud in the so fun. You know, I've never been mud. It looked fun though. It looked fun. I uh, I grew up in real good mud country. I mean, Oklahoma's got nothing but dirt and mud and a few other things. Oh, I was hoping the bomb wouldn't be as bad as the as the shell, but oh, red shells! Oh, mid flip, mid flip. You know, Oklahoma's red dirt country. It's kind of uh, man, all the red shells, all the red shells. They are just gravitating toward the the green shell. 
Oh, clutch! I might overtake chance, maybe not. Oh, whoa! That, that, that was a whole lot worse than what I thought it was going to be. Oh! And rear shell from chance. What are the odds? Pretty high, actually. I've been red shelled by just about everything so far. We'll let that blue shell hit somebody else. I got out of its way. Wow. Second and first are so far away from me. At least it looks like it. It's kind of hard to tell with these tracks when they're circular like this. When they're, when they're a pretty good sized circle, whether or not you're in first or second or third is, is anybody's guess. Those might cut off chance before he gets across the line. Maybe not. Oh, third. Okay. All right. We'll take care of Zombie Billy. Thanks for joining in, man. Really appreciate it. GG, everybody. That was super good on the course. Super good. I think we have three people. Three people in the first place. Blue shells are evil. Um, I don't think blue shells are evil. I don't think blue shells are evil. Now, the people using the blue shell, that's debatable. Blue shells are typically given to people that are far back in the race, so, you know. Dodge last game blue shell, but not this one. Yeah, blue shells aren't easy to dodge either. They definitely are not that. There's a number of ways you can dodge them, but they're not easy, that's for certain. Forgot to unmute the mic. Okay, that's that's why I wasn't able to talk. All right, let's see here. Here we go. On the course we're going, guys, and we are we're looking at the clock because we're always mindful, making sure we keep our times going, guys. We probably have a small intermission coming up after this set of races. We usually try to get it as close to ten as we can without going over or under. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so third place so far. We're doing pretty decent, in my opinion. And we definitely like Animal Crossing. The course is great. Speaking of Animal Crossing, if you guys are playing Pocket Camp, there were some new characters added this week. Digrat, I think, has already gotten to him. Maybe not. <laughs> she says, yes, she has. That is one of those games that Digret absolutely loves. It's fun. I, I have no problems with it. I just don't get a chance to play it as often as I'd like. Well, thanks for the Digret command there. We really appreciate that. Alienated one. Oh, there's Chance. Chance seeking red shell. Hey, Vulcan! How's it going? Ooh, Blue Shell coming for first place. What's better than a Blue Shell? It's Ben with the Red Shell. He's shedding the weight, guys. He's getting rid of that banana. It's Ben, I'm coming for you. Probably not going to catch up to you though, buddy. GG, Ben, GG. But glad to see you here, Vulcan. I, I remember you saying that you are getting ready to train for the track and field event for the special games coming up. So, way cool. I know you're excited about that. The, yes, yes, you are correct, opponent is. Uh, yeah, it got really close there, Ben. It got really close there. 
Um, it does have multiple track ponies. There's, if you can see in the picture, there's one for summer, spring, winter, and fall. The winter one I really like a lot. The spring one I like a lot. Um, the other ones are pretty good too. I, I like the fact that it's all four of those seasons. And that's something. Oh, Vulcan me, you're absolutely here. I see you in the lime green outfit. Looks like you're getting ready for St. Patrick's Day coming up. If you guys uh, are in an area of the world that celebrates St. Patrick's Day, or at least uh, recognizes it to some point, that does show up on the 17th of March usually. Um, so yeah, it's uh, definitely one of those things there that some people get out of school because of spring break. Some companies even let people go home for it. So, yep, that's exactly why you're in Lime Green. I thought that might have been it. I thought that might have been it. We're back-to-back -back Animal Crossing routes. That's kind of cool. So we should be able to see what we were just talking about. So we had we had the track. It looked like it was the summer track. Um, no, opponents, the track version is not supposed to be random. It's supposed to be based upon where in the racing set you're at. So this is the final race. This is winter, which is considered by a lot of people to be the final season. Um, so, you know, it's, it's the reason why it is the way it is. So here we are burning through this. We were playing on the fall map, just the last one. You'll notice that the, the trees do have fruit on them. The ground is snowed, so it is a little slipperier. And uh, when we get to the water, it's actually going to be kind of like snowed over and not anywhere near as bad, as far as deep. And you can see the Aurora Borealis. See, the water is super shallow now. And instead of having Mr. Reset, he's popping out of the ground, we have these snowmen just right in right So even though it looks kind of similar, it's a different course from a, a very technical standpoint. Racing, it's different as well. Go tiny, tiny, mini Bowser Jr. I mean, Bowser Jr. is small to begin with, but sometimes he gets really miniaturized. That was a seashell. Just ran into a seashell. Oh, Vulcan me with the star power side swipe. I try to get, when I see a star power coming behind me, I try to get out of the way. Because it usually is a good way to you know get out of someone's direction. They usually won't take the, the, the worst course sometimes. But depending upon how far away they are, they might, because it might be more beneficial for them to smack you out of the way. Ba Boom, bam. I have somebody like right there on me. Oh, Vulcan. Oh, double lightning. And I think Vulcan's ahead of me, which means I should get out of lightning faster. Just by a smidge, though. And Vulcan will still take the lead. GG, Vulcan. GG. I was pretty good for those last four there. Pretty good. Pretty good. So Ben was 60, taking first place on all four races. Close the whole way, though. Close the whole way. Absolutely, Vulcan GG. Really appreciate that. Bum, 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 bum. And me and Chance, difference of one point. That's how important one point is sometimes, guys. If you're, you know, if you're keeping score, one point is just as important as 20 points. And guys, I'm going to take a brief intermission. I should be back within about five minutes. And of course, since we're switching from battle to rainbow, barely beat Chance last race. Barely beat him. Uh, sometimes it's just as close as it is. So of course, when we go for our little intermission here, we're going to leave this screen up for you guys. We're going to leave the awesome flame blanket to keep you guys occupied and companyed. And we will be back just taking a brief break. Thank you for understanding Turtle Club.
All right. Uh, welcome, Daniel Clark, to the Mario Kart stream we got going on here. Looks like we got no friend requests coming in. You are now Steve Harvey. Okay. Um, confused. Ben is Steve. Steve is Ben. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. That could be one of those kind of things. Do you change me's often? Okay. Well, that, that's definitely an interesting me, though. It definitely looks like Steve Harvey. Um, it's pretty interesting, actually. You know, I always thought that the me's that did, uh, or the people that did me art work was, was pretty cool. All right, so we are empty with that. And those of you who are used to this channel, that was not a monster. That was a rock star. Sugar Free is not as bad as I remember them being. It was actually really good. Um, let's see here. We're going to battle mode. No computers, but, but what we actually did say is we're actually instead going to go to teams this time. Uh, Daniel Clark, there is no friend code that's going to come up that way. Uh, it's all in the description of the video on how to get to it. Um, it's, it gets posted there. Back to the show and fun gaming. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but yeah, so here we go, guys. We're going to try teams. I don't know how this plays out. It's been a very long time since we did it. Um, normal items, three minutes, no computer players, all vehicles. If we're doing teams, I think we're going to do just easy computer um, the whole entire time to see how this goes. And random battle. So I don't know how Shine Thief even works. So it's going to be kind of entertaining. So it looks like, okay, so we get the teams like this. I think that's the way the way we'll go ahead and do it. Um, actually, let's uh, switch out. Oh, I don't get to actually switch people out. Interesting. Or maybe I do. I just didn't know the button. But here we go, guys. This will be kind of interesting to see how it all plays out. People keep asking about teams, and I think we'll just do it this one time to see what it's like. Red's your favorite color. Okay, well, that's cool, Vulcan. Uh, green is mine. Uh, Daniel Clark, you just violated the rules, man. And uh, that'll be a timeout, dude. Uh, agrees to the rules and then proceeds to violate them. Um, sorry, man. It's written in the description. It's written in the description. ba dum bum ba dum bum So sweet, sweet kingdom, and this is Shine Thief. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Ben. I uh, I just like the me that I've got, so people kind of know who they're dealing with and who they're talking with. All right, so Vulcan me. Oh, it's 30 seconds for Shine Thief on team mode. Interesting. If I can get to it. Anybody on the blue team's got it? Chance has got it. Go, Chance, go. Go, Chance, go. No, Chance, no. Don't. Don't. Got hit by my own teammate. Oh, I've been... Did I get it? Did I get it for my team? I did. I got it for my team, and then I lost it for my team. I got to get to that thing. Quickly, quickly. Chance, take it. Run away, Chance. Run away. Stop hitting me with shells and, and banana pills, though. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I, I make a pretty good roadblock. Do I? Ah, oh, who got it? Baby Luigi, go! Baby Luigi, go! Ah, uh, can I get to it before Steve Harvey gets it? I got it! All right. Super drift, super drift. Oh, oh. Oh, we're down to five seconds left. Oh, Vulcan's got it. Uh oh. Where's Vulcan at? We gotta, we gotta find Vulcan quickly. Oh, maybe, maybe we got it. Isabel got it. Go, Isabel. Run with it. Run with it. 
Run with it. So Team Shine Thief. Definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. So it's five points per team instead of ten points as well. I like that. I like that the, the points are weighted for it being a team play thing too. That makes it feel a little bit better in my opinion. Oh, no where he's been. Trust me. Uh, I'm usually not that good at Shine Thief. Do, 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 do. Urchin Underpass. Urchin Underpass for Balloon Battle. Huh. This is going to get pretty uh, gross, I think, because I'm really bad at Balloon Battle. And there's all these computer players, which usually make me really bad at Balloon Battle. Almost, almost jumped on Steve Harvey. Not quite. Oh, Wario. Bye-bye, Wario. That's Baby Luigi, and he's a friend. Because he's got blue balloons. Oh, I see Vulcan, though. Maybe. Maybe. We might be able to... Oh, Vulcan's just way too fast for me to catch up. Okay. Oh, that was an uh, exchange and a half. Oh, okay. Pop my own balloon. It doesn't count for a point for the other team, though, so that's not bad. Oh, Steve Harvey, BB. Oh, oh, oh. Triple shot. Boomerang, bang a ring. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm, I'm just getting trounced here, guys. Turn around, turn around. Get out of the corner. I've got a, I got a balloon popping red shell. Balloon popper red shell. Uh, Daniel Clark asking about being the friend code is one of the rules that are posted inside the actual description of the video. Um, it states that if you keep asking about the actual friend code, that you may not be added on the friends. Or removed from the actual chat. And it also states that one of the rules is people need to read the description of the video, which clearly by asking for the friend code, you didn't read the description for the video. Um, so that's, you know, there's two of them that you broke. We gave you leeway for the first time, and then the second time you did it, you said that you read it. Danger Danny! Welcome to the channel, man. Appreciate you coming in. Uh, you didn't understand it then, Daniel. Because had you read it and understood it, you wouldn't ask for the friend code. You would have simply used the command like Danger Danny did. And that's the last we're going to talk about it, man. So last we're going to talk about it, Danger, or Daniel. And 16 to 7. We got trounced in balloon battle. Wow. And are those direct point configurations? 16 to 37. Yes, those are direct points. So that's actually really good. That's really good. You're so... Why? Oh, you're sorry, maybe? Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Hyped. Oh, you're so hyped for Smash Brothers. A lot of people are Vulcan. We are we are looking forward to Smash Brothers coming in. Oh. Oh, we are. Oh, Daniel, you're not dumb, man. People that don't read the description um, and never read it and never understand it, those people have a little bit of an argument for that. But people that actually learn from it, like yourself, um, you know, they have the... Oh, Chance. Bitten left high and dry here on team battle. 
But that's okay, Chance. You know, thanks for playing, man. Really appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. Oh, no, no problems at all, Chance. No problems at all. So here we go with Coint Runners. Boom. Oh, we get little blue coins. That's kind of neat. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All I gotta do is just focus on getting coins and hope no <laughs> knocks the coins out of me. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. I'm not a really aggressive player on this game. And that's that's kind of one of my weaknesses to say, you know, if I have you know more than one weakness, that's definitely the top one. My aim is bad on top of that. Probably one of the reasons why I'm not so aggressive because my shots usually don't go where I want them to go. Oh no, dodge Steve Harvey. No Steve Harvey. Zigzag formation. Take a race of action. Ah. Ludwig. Give me your coins, Ludwig. Give me your coins. Give me the red coins. Oh, wow. 34 to 24. Ah, we are getting creamed. Oh, well, thanks, Danger. I really appreciate that, man. We, uh, we try to keep our community pretty chill and relaxed. But we know that the only way we can kind of keep it that way is by everybody understanding and stuff. All right. All right, here we go. Can we hit something with all that? Nope. We're at 37 to 38, 38 to 36. Oh, it's back and forth, back and forth. Take out Wario, maybe, maybe. Oh, we took Vulcan Me's coins down. Can we grab a couple more? We can. Boom. 41 to 30. It's getting violent, guys. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Who am I? Where am I at? Why are all these things flying at me? 30 seconds. Only three coin difference between the teams. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I hit anybody there. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Uh, I got the crown, and the coin count was definitely not the same. Um, was that because I had, like, the highest coins on track? I don't think we're going to take this one, guys. Man, 41 to 27. It is back and forth. That was like Titanic Fury. Oh, thank you, Dig Rat. Really appreciate that. Okay. Guys, look at this. Look at that dig rat with some sausage and some tater tots. Got a nice little sample platter there. All right, guys, that's, that's actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, so, so far I'm liking team mode a bit when we have a low density of players, like where we have myself and, and Tonight's Splatfest, you are a chicken. Okay. Um, I hadn't seen what the Splatfest was. Usually people are talking about it a little bit more, but I didn't see it this time. Hmm. So this is Team Battle 3. You're now your Elmo me. Okay. Ooh, the original team battle. Cops versus Renegades, Law versus Renegades. Hmm. I'm coming for you, Wario. Where are you at? Oh, Ludwig opened the cage.
Turner Club, the allergies are real today, it seems. There's a Ludwig. Let's see if we can catch a Ludwig in his little mini cart. There we go. We got a Ludwig, but everybody else is free now. And I got zapped. I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna get the points on this one, Turtle Club. I don't think we're gonna get the points on this one. Daisy, baby, want to catch her? And there's Elmo. There's Elmo. Can't we catch Elmo? We caught us an Elmo. We sure did. And we almost... Oh, there. Baby baby Luigi, I think, is who got that one. All right. Let's see what we can find out here. And boom. Dry bones. We missed him. King Boo got the Elmo there. We see to have an issue with Volk and me always getting that cage popped. If we can catch Volk and me, I think we can maybe put them down, guys. Because she is just really good at catching that cage open. I think I might have her. What's your opinion on Super Smash Brothers being in a new game or a port? Um, I think it's going to be a new game, Danger Danny. I, I think it's... I would hate to think that they're going to be doing just a port of the last one. Because they had it on two platforms. And one of the things that made it so good is you could play it, you know, on portable or on, on console. I think defeating that kind of defeats it. And there's a whole lot of opportunity for Nintendo to... Oh, we caught... Oh, did we... Oh, GG for us guys! All six of them in the cage! Way cool! Did not see that coming. You guess you need to Bell? Okay. Oh, you guess you need Bell. Okay. Sometimes that's the way it goes. I have I have lost more than my fair share. No size. I know nine seconds. It was so close. But y'all, Danger Danny, I'm pretty certain that they're going to be doing a uh, a new game because so far the only real big port that's been a Nintendo licensed property is Mario Kart. Not, not that I, I believe they've ported anything else that's been like a flagship title like this. And I think the only reason why they ported Mario Kart was so they could have an online platform game like this to kind of get the, uh, the testing going on for the actual netcode. Now, I don't think they wanted to sour um, Smash Brothers. Because everybody agrees that the netcode on Nintendo right now isn't entirely worth like the $10 a year. I mean, the service that they're proposing to start charging for is $10 a year. Uh, Danger Danny, I've always liked Link um, as far as Smash Brothers goes. I, I like uh, Captain Falcon, he's pretty fun too. Um, the original Mewtwo was really good in my opinion, and if they, you know, you know, actually, if we just got Project M as the next Switch game, I would be, I would be loving that too. I wouldn't have a problem with that at all. Do I have a red name following me? No, it doesn't look like it. Elmo hit me. I'm down to one balloon and only one pop. So maybe I just need to hide for the next minute and 40 seconds. No, I can't do that. 
I have to lead by example. The example is, he who hits and runs away lives to hit another day. Ah, oh, or loses, and how much do we get dropped for me? We don't, interesting. Uh, well, Danny, so am I planning to get new games? Uh, yeah, I always want to get new games, right? I haven't seen the new Direct, so I can't say for certain. Uh, all I know is what people have told me. I, I work nights, I work a pretty heavy job, so I've today all I've done is basically got home, streamed, went to bed, woke up, ate, and then streamed. So I really haven't had any downtime to do what normal people that aren't, you know, me would usually do. Uh, so I can't say for certain, you know, what games I'd like to get, what games I'm hyped for, just by, you know, the, the stream itself. But what I can say is on this channel, we stream and play usually what our community wants to see. We ask them to do that by voting, by making recommendations in our Discord. And when we complete game series, that's what we do. We also have what we call Free For All Friday, which is the stream you're currently involved in. And that stream series is picked by uh, each week by the top donor or the top tipper, whatever terminology you like to use. This week was Drew Benson. He's one of our channel sponsors. He tipped $5 this week. Uh, we also had another uh, sponsor named Shadow. He's also one of our moderators, and he uh, donated, um, as you can see there, like $2.89, I think it was, or $3.89. Um, oh, cool. I don't have Splatoon 2, Daniel Clark, so getting the DLC for Splatoon 2 will do me no good. Um, and that's the other thing, is when someone actually donates and wins, and they've actually exceeded the cost of a particular game, they can request that I simply go out and pick up that game. Oh, that's kind of neat, with the Candy Kingdom background. I've never seen that before. Uh, GG, guys. Um, I owe it all to the computer players on my team, because they did pretty decent. Um, oh, yeah, I, I don't doubt it, uh, Danger Danny. Uh, Nintendo has been really good with their directs. And I have so many other games to play. So many other games to play. It's, it's just insane. It really is. All right, so guys, now we've finished battle mode. The next thing we do, of course, is we go into our friends list requests. We have two of them. I believe that's Daniel and Danger Danny. So here we go, Daniel, become friends. You're now Kermit. Oh, that's cool, Ben. Let's take a look what Kermit looks like. Because it's not easy being green. Hello. That's a really bad Kermit the Frog when I've been coughing all day. Oh, thanks, Vulcan. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's kind of a neat Kermit the Frog. I see what you're going for there. It's got, like, the the eyes on the cap and nifty. Nifty. All right, so we got the friend request accepted. We're going to give a few minutes, so if Daniel and Danger Danny want to join in, they can. And I'm not in any way, shape, or form delaying that a little bit so I can eat that. Oh, and raising his hands like a champion. We got another person riding on here. Cool. So we got easy computers, no teams, five people, four races. Oh, I appreciate that, Vulcan. We we uh, we love our fans. It, you guys are just awesome. Let's see what we have not raced on yet. Uh, we'll do Ribbon Road because Catwater, one of our mods, really likes Ribbon Road. And what do we land on? Ooh, the music level. The music level is pretty fun. I'm not really good at Music Park, but it's still a fun level.
And here we go with the first race, guys, on mirror mode for tracks. And it is currently 10-10, which means we are getting about 50 minutes closer to the 200cc. And after 200cc is always sudden death battle mode, where we try to fill in the rest of the stream time with however much time we've got left with battles that are one minute rounds. And it can get kind of crazy and out of hand. I do love the little piano system they got here. I'm not so keen on this particular one that has no railing, but you know it is what it is. And the timpani drum. Boom. And of course, don't forget, guys, this is the weekend. It's when we stream the most. We do stream on Monday mornings and Friday mornings, but Saturday and Sunday and Friday nights, of course, is where we're most active. This weekend, like all weekends, we have Free For All Friday, which is what you're playing and seeing right now. We also have Mag vs. Wild, which is Saturday, Sunday, and Monday mornings at 3 a.m. That's the weekend for me, guys, because I work nights. And we have Majora's Morning, Mor morning Muffin. Majora's Morning Muffin, where we are playing through a semi-blind playthrough Majora's Mask. Right now, we are getting into Akana Castle. Or we might not be. I don't remember exactly what was our, our our actual bottleneck. We were having some issues getting there. Maybe we'll get that all figured out. Oh, that's right. We got to a boss that just wanted to keep smacking us around. Maybe we'll get really good at that boss though today. We'll see what happens, guys. So Mag vs. Wild is going to fire off in five hours. And then we will be playing Majora's Mask. And a little bit under ten hours from now. Go away, Star Power. We don't want you nearby. Stop, Star Power. Kermit! It's not easy being green. Shells. But it's easy using red shells. We went from second to third to fifth, neck and neck, back and forth, racing. Never know exactly what place you'll cross that checkered line on, but this time it was fourth. GG Turtle Club, GG. Alrighty guys, we've gotten one course out of the way. One course. And back to Ribbon Road Choice, we'll see what happens. So am I getting smashed? Oh, uh, Vulcan, not really. Um, I might, but probably not. It just really depends. I got so little time and so many games I want to play. I just, I could spend all the money on them and they can sit there. I've got games that I've not touched in forever. I haven't even played or starting them. And that's like, not just on stream, but in my own personal time. I've got Red Dead Redemption that I've never played. That game is older than the dirt in the game itself. And um, never even put it in my Xbox yet. Oh, I understand Vulcan. I understand Splatfest is really big. Oh, uh, Danger Danny, that happens. That happens. Oh, Kazuto! He popped in, snuck in there. We have a Z Link who's popped in. He's kind of snuck in. I'm sure he'll be joining voice chat potentially a little later. He usually jumps in for that. Bum, 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 bum. Seventh place on the Mario Sunshine track. And this is one of the tracks that I really do enjoy. The, the build of it, the design of it. Oh wow, there's a ramp that I've never even seen. I didn't even realize that was a ramp there. I've played this course a number of times. Didn't even realize we had a little shortcut. That's one thing I love about this game is just you never know how the tracks are totally built. Unless you study them meticulously. And even then, there's like some, you know, tournament kind of level gameplay that I don't even know. 
makes me think of uh, on the N64 there was Cruising USA, which had some really cool stuff. Crazy 8, mash that trigger button until it all goes away. Oh, wrecked by the bullet bill. That's not a zombie bullet billy, though. It's just a bullet bill. Zombie Billy, of course, had some stuff he had to do today, helping out his folks. But he was cool enough to pop in and play for about an hour. Oh, we just ran right into a red shell. It was just sitting there. We ran into the Mario Kart equivalent of a parked car turtle club. That's how good I am at this game. Targets don't even have to hunt me down. I just walk right in front of them. We'll let that blue shell find somebody. We uh, we are not friends of Blue Shell Brigade. All right, boom! So many stars given out to the sixth place person. They're trying to help me out, but I don't think I'm going to get help. I think that I might get autoed out of this race even. If you are last place of the actual non-computer players. When the last when the last person in front of you crosses the finish line, it tells you that the race is over. I found that out the hard way a couple times. Oh, oh wait, maybe we have uh, we might have seven people. We might have six people. I don't remember. We will see placements soon enough. GG, Vin. Oh yeah, GG. Oh, wow, no, it doesn't actually finish unless you are last place. Interesting. I've had last place happen so many times, I was confused on that. This is your last game? Okay, Vulcan. No worries. Thanks for hanging out with us. Really appreciate it. You're at your mom's. The stream isn't going to load for me well. Internet is bad. Okay. That's that's all right, Kazuto. That's, that's all right. Uh, yeah, Digrat, that is Steve. That is Steve. He's not going to be able to be on voice chat, and he's not going to be able to hear the stream, though, so... But he'll... Yeah, he's at his, his mom's house, and her internet's not as good as his dad's, so... Oh, yeah, it, it is fun. It is fun, Danger Dandy. We, we have a blast doing it. Uh, every Friday night, it's a random game chosen by one of our actual supporters, whoever supports the much. Uh, this week, it was Drew Benson with five bucks. Uh, some weeks, it's been a dollar. Uh, we had a... Do you have Mario Kart DS? No, I... Don't, David Hart. I, uh, I don't stream DS games. I don't play many DS games. Uh, I play a lot of Mario um, long, long time ago. A lot of Tetris. And a lot of Pokemon on DS. But most other games on DS just really don't... Really don't interest me with the, in the way that a lot of Switch games do these days. Because the Switch uh, rapidly is replacing people's Game Boys. I mean, when you've got something as portable as the Game Boy with a better screen resolution and a better control setup, it's just kind of a slam dunk. I I don't believe rumors that Nintendo isn't going to replace it with the Switch. It's you know only about a hundred dollars more. But thanks for joining the Turtle Club, David. Really appreciate it. Uh, I wish I could you know, I wish I could tell you that yes I do, but I uh, I I don't do dishonest things like that. Now, that's not to say that we don't have people in our community that have the game or don't have the game. We actually do have a, a voice chat room for DS players, as well as a text chat for DS players that can be done through our LFG chat system on our Discord. Do you live in Texas? Nope. I live in Georgia. I live in the Atlanta, Georgia metro. Used to live in Oklahoma. There's not too much different between the two states, except for a whole lot of trees and a lot less wind.
No weapons, no items. I'm just trailing Vulcan me though, so I still have a, a chance. Usually that's no weapons. <laughs> oh, we went from second place to fourth. Wow, that was that was fast. GG Ben, GG man. And, oh, you're welcome, Vulcan. Thanks for hanging out and playing with us. We really appreciate it. Of course, with Vulcan jumping out, that means that the first place crown that Vulcan had is up for grabs. Oh, no worries. Oh, and no worries, man. Um, I haven't played Odyssey. I live long and prosper, Vulcan. Live long. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate that. I haven't played Odyssey. I haven't watched a lot of Odyssey streaming, Danger Danny. It's not really my cup of tea. Action platformers with really precision timing like Odyssey has for like the, the quintuple jumps. Not something that as a 36 year old man who has really poor reflexes and mental focus um, can really accomplish. But there are other games that I really enjoy that are kind of in the same vein. Uh, 2D side scrollers, eh, I'm a little bit better at those. But usually when the 3D space gets kind of all gyroscope balled around, I, I kind of lose track of where I'm at. As evidenced by all the Zelda games that I do play, um, usually if I'm not on my own two feet, walking in a straight line, and even then it's kind of sketchy. Hey, we're on Ribbon Road! The Micro Machines course where everything is ginormous. Or we're super tiny. The question is which is which. But I, I did hear a potential rumor about Odyssey is that they might do a Luigi's Mansion level as a DLC. That would be kind of cool, I think. I don't know how they would pull it off entirely, but it would be neat. Oh, and I'm not on steering assist. You can tell by the fact I just wiped out there. I kind of like the Hyrule Glider because I can see through it. It's neat. And we're on the pink carpet there. We gotta get off the pink carpet in this little playroom. Bullet Bill taking the lead. Not surprising. Ooh, and a red shell for the green frog. take second place though if we can manage to cross the finish line and keep it for a while oh oh that red shell went after someone else I don't know how I managed to dodge that like that but uh, chase first place red shell chase first place oh internet's pretty crazy so you can't play Mario Kart oh yeah Mario Kart 8 has some issues um, for an online game, and it's not so much everybody's internet, per se. Uh, it, it is, but it's not. It's because of the way Nintendo decided to do it. Um, they're using a, a pure base server system. There is a server for the matchmaking, but the actual gameplay and everything is hosted on my Nintendo Switch. And on your Nintendo Switch, and on everybody else's Nintendo Switch. So what we wind up with is if like we're racing with 12 people, we get 12 individual races with all of our switches updating everybody else with where we're at and what we're doing. Oh, GG Ben, absolutely, man. A GG Daniel, Daniel taking first place in that set so far. All right, guys, and we're getting closer and closer to Ricky Bobby time. We are getting closer and closer to 200 CC after the mirror race. Of course, we go to the random battles, but first, 
Has the Turtle Club increased with more friends? No, so we don't have anyone to add to this one. But I think what we're going to do again, because we got a low there, is we're going to go teams with easy comms. Because that was pretty fun last time. So we're going to start the battle. It's going to ask me to make teams. All right, so we have Daniel Kazuto. I think that's a pretty well-balanced team from what I can tell right now. You are now Snoopy. Okay. That will be interesting to see when it comes in. Hey, on Snoopy. You are the Red Baron. Looks like we lost someone. That's unfortunate. And we're waiting for player number three, Kazuto, to choose there. Okay. All right. Well, no worries, Kazuto. What'd you say, Digrat? Ready player three. Okay. Instead of ready player one. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Oh, that is a neat Snoopy there. That is neat Snoopy. I, I see the, the way the icon looks like Snoopy. All right, so Balloon Battle is not as bad as some other modes, at least for me playing on teams. Because the score is only determined by the number of people that my teams can pop and take out. And I'm red. One thing I do like about team battle is I'm no longer yellow ballooned. Like, every time we're playing solo, um, it's always been... It's always been um, yellow balloons, and I just I don't know what causes that on the game. I'm seeing a lot of red balloons. I need to get away from those. Um, Digrat, no, there's not 99. I was kind of disappointed on that too. At, at the start, there's 30. But the red team could get 99 points, which is considered popping a balloon. Oh, there's a there's a wide player. Ah, Miss Roy. Every time I see a Roy, I always wonder if it's Kenny the Neo Kid because he always drives around on the Roy avatar. But it's not. It's it's a it's a pretender. It's a pretender. He's trying to be Kenny the Neo Kid, but he's actually an NPC. Oh, Kazuto hitting me. Oh, it hit me again, but I got him that time too. And again. Oh. Is it going to be like that? Is it going to be like that? There it is. Snoopy with the crown. GG Snoopy. I, I have zero points, so anything more than zero would be crown worthy compared to me. Oh, there we go. We got a green shell right into Kazuto, but I don't think it gave me the credit for it. No, we're still at nine, or we're down to eight. Someone lost a balloon. If you get a balloon stolen, it happens. Casto, 15 to 10 team game going on right now. And did I get Daniel? I sidelined Daniel. Yeah, I got one point. Go me. Real close team game, guys. Real close team game. 14 to 12. 14 to 12. It looks like we got a, a non-named Mario who snuck in there. I'm 
It looks like the teams are still balanced on the number of people now. We had one person drop out. Oh, we have two more coming in. Ooh, I would guess that they would just get divided into other teams. Uh, why teams? Uh, Kazuto, with there being a low number of people, uh, we decided to do teams. It was one of those things we were just going to test it out to see how it kind of played out, and it played out pretty well. There was a... You know, it's kind of one of those things. Someone kept asking about it, so we decided we'd give it a shot. And we, we, you know, when we get up to, like, six-plus people for it, I think it uh, definitely needs to go back to non-com. But when it's real low, we had, like, two people at one point, just me and another person, and that's... That's no bueno, you know, when you're doing, you know, 1v1 for battle mode. It makes it very, very difficult. Uh, he jumped into Discord, did right? <laughs> oh, I had the crown, and now the crown's gone. What's really funny about Coin Runners, though, is that I could have the crown and lose it to somebody on my own team. Well, I guess I should be shooting the, the blue player I've been chasing for a while. Instead of just watching them take coins right in front of me. i not used to teams. That uh, Teams is not a really... Oh, wow. Red team just got blitzed. We went from, like, first place to, like, halfway to... Wow. Okay. But yeah, uh, it happens all the time when I used to play Rocket League too. I'd forget what team color I was on. And, until like the first goal was scored. And we'd be like, oh, I'm on the orange team. Or I'm on the blue team. I would recognize that, you know, the other teams had their own color. I just wouldn't really dawn on me which color I was. Thirty-eight to forty-six guys with a minute twenty-five left to go. Forty-one forty-nine. It's just a back and forth. Fifty-two, fifty-four. Whoa, blue team just shocking off. I just ghosted a ghost, it looked like. Oh, there's the crown. Kazudo, here I come. I've got a bomb with your name on it. Which way did you go? Which way did you go? I think I got him. I think I got him. But I think it... Oh, there's... I got him, but there was a, a little bit of desync. It didn't say I, I snacked him. 51 to 50, 52 to see. Oh, I just can't even keep up. Oh, we just hit Kazuto like he was a pinata of coins. Oh, and player. I don't even know who player is. I do know Rosalina, though. Oh, double boomerang. Oh, and I missed with all six shots, Turtle Club. What is up with that? What is up with that? So close, GG, guys. Four point difference. Look at that. Look at that. And the tie goes to a four point difference. 72 to 68. It's getting getting kind of hot and heavy, guys, in this game. The stress, the pressure. I can't do teams. You're used to being solo. Well, don't worry, Kazado, man. When, when Shine Thief pops up, it's still solo ish the bomb blast it looks like Daiho and player are on opposing teams so they can see each other's screen 
Oh, I will. Uh, yeah, Dig Rat is, is aware that you said hi. She said hi to you a couple times, too. Of course, using your, your nickname, Steve. All the bombs in the world. And I'm immune to all the red ones. Here we go. Go, go, power steering. I've missed every single bomb power up. Oh. Daniel hit me. Okay, my strategy is defunct. Take evasive action. Get out of dodge. Throw a bomb at a Haku. Yeah, it probably is confusing, Dig Rat, that I, I call Kazuto, Hoenn, Haku, Steve, all the names that he's been named on the stream. Um, it confuses me sometimes, too, because I just switch. Red Team, I'm taking a tactical retreat. And I don't mean like a vacation, I mean I'm getting away from all the explosions because it's just not really good. All right, here we go. Lots of bombs. Clear the way. Turtle coming through. Crossing the road. Larry, leave Donkey Kong alone. Villager. Ah. Man, this is such a close scoring game, guys. Look at this. Ooh, we just lost some points on the red team because I just got ousted. Three point difference between both teams, two points. Let's see where we're at with all this. Chasing down the villager. Maybe I can at least blow the villager up. I missed. Five bombs, missed every single one of them. Oh, get away from all them blue explosions. No, 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 no. Protect my one point at all costs. And that's the reason why, oh my gosh, whoever had the most points on our team, I have to go in. Billy has to be a hero! Billy's not here, so I have to sub in instead. Oh, if I can get Daiho, maybe. Maybe. Oh, it's tied game! 19 oh, one point difference on this! Clutch explosion. Not by me, but someone did. GG, Turtle Club. GG. It's getting there. But we still have the great equalizer known as Shine Thief coming up. Oh yeah, Kazudo is it is it is insane the way this goes on team mode. Shine Thief, which is a 30-point game. Oh, we're close by. We're close by. You still have the habit of wanting to blow everybody up? Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a habit I still got, too. Unfortunately, the closest target usually winds up being myself. Oh, Kazudo with the shine. Track down the blue coin. Keep chasing the, the blue coin, guys. Disregard the red one that just appeared that has my name on it. 
No, no, no. No, no, no. Kazuto with the green coin, with the blue coin, with the orange. Well, I don't know. Too many colors. It just got crazy, guys. It just got crazy. It is on. Daiho's got it now. All right. I got it. I don't got it. Disregard what I just said. I don't have it. <laughs> See, the villagers got it, everybody. I need some sort of power up that can. Oh, yikes! Did my own teammate know? All right, that was Kazuto that wrecked me and stole it. Kazuto up top. Did somebody just steal the shine? Someone did. I heard the effect. Snoopy's got it! Hang on, Snoopy! Snoopy, hang on! Oh, someone on the blue team's got it, though. Kazuto. It's like an arch nemesis between Snoopy and Kazuto. Don't worry, Kazuto. I see you. I'll save you. Sort of. Ah. Uh. Oh, four. Three. Oh, two. One. And that's game, guys. Kazuto with the finish on Shine Thief, the great equalizer of this team game, of course. 91 to 86 points becomes 91 to 116 points. We have one more round left. One more round. Yeah, I told you, Huin, Hoin, Kazudo, I told you, man, Shine Thief would be the equalizer like it always is. But this is going to be Cops and Robbers. By process of elimination, it has to be. We'll see how this goes. It's all going to come down to, am I the cop or the robber in this one, guys? Am I the law or the renegade? Am I the criminal or the hero? We'll find out. And I'm the hero, which means Mighty Casey's about to strike out, guys. I am just horrible when I'm actually the renegade. All right. So let's find as many people to arrest as we can. Pull over, villager. You know how fast you were going. Well, faster than me, apparently. Uh, I have sideswiped the villager twice now. Rosalina finally caught it. Oh, I caught Larry. You just got to make sure that... Oh, oh. Ah. Kazuto with the save. Which would have been great, except for we're on opposite teams. Steve, how could you? Oh, oh, that was just, there was no call for that. The speaker boxed me like that. Wow, the team of Kazuto and Daiho, as far as actual Renegades go, is actually really good. Both of them are fast on the cage poppins side of things. 
Oh. Roy even got a cage open. All right. That's that's just further showcasing how not good I am when I'm the law on the side. Which is fine. It's the reason why this game is played this way, guys. You gotta get good, or at least have a good time at it. And I'm having a good time. Me and my little plant going around. Checking my little hiding spot every time I can. A minute and six seconds left, guys, before we crown the winning team. Can the red team play spoiler and beat the blue team, or will the blue team take it all in the end? We'll know in just a while. Oh, I, I miss with the red shell. I, I don't know how one misses with the heat-seeking weapon, but I did it. Don't even have to aim. You just point it in the general direction like a shotgun, and you still miss. That's, that's a pretty... Uh, Pretty impressive for me to be able to do that. Oh, and of course I got the fireball by the plant person. Okay. All right, I caught Larry at least. I remember Larry from Super Mario Brothers 3, of course. Oh, this might be another down to the wire. All we have to do is catch a Yoshi and a Link, and we'll win. Six, five, four, three. Oh, GG. GG, blue team. GG. You guys took it. Final score, it looks like to be 84-124. So it looks like it's only a 10-point swing. So even if we'd won that round... Still would have taken second place because Shine Thief is still the ultimate equalizer. They even put the shine on top of the crown, guys. That's how important it is on battle mode. But that was real fun, Turtle Club, to get that going. And now it's time, team. Who in? Uh, well, I think there was more than just you on the team there. But yeah, it was definitely, uh, it was definitely the team that you're part of. All right, guys. So now, here we go. Here we go. We're going to go over to here. We have zero friend requests. You're now Snoop Dogg. You know, that's a pretty good Snoop Dogg, too. You know, I, I've been watching uh, some old TV shows when I have the free time on the shift that I work. And we're going to go back to no teams, 200cc, easy comms, all vehicles, four races. Uh, yep. Oh, absolutely. Um, I don't know if Indigo's in the chat room. Daiho might be in the chat room. Or he just might be playing because he plays here. But I've been watching uh, Monk with... Uh, God, what's his name? Tony Shalhoub. Thank you, Digrat. I knew it was Tony. I just couldn't remember how to pronounce the last name. But Snoop Dogg's actually in one of the episodes. Uh, there's an episode where they have like a kind of a retelling of the Tupac Biggie kind of thing going on. And there's a car bomb instead of an actual drive-by. and uh, But it's actually a really funny episode because of Monk just not being able to deal with everything in general. Which is kind of the way that all goes. But here we go, guys. 200cc. Lots of Rainbow Road out there. One is definitely lots at this point with six people racing. Why Moo Moo? Kazudo, because we love you, man. And here we go, guys. This is the 200cc, which is close to the last race for the night. We might do another race after the sudden death random battle. But here comes Ricky Bobby mode. If you're used to the slower pace that we've been handling, you are not going to have it this time. The cars, of course, go super fast. To the point to where I can't handle the actual steering half the time. And I definitely, on normal mode, I cannot handle the bikes. On 200cc, I just don't even have a chance. But it's fun. I like to play on it because everybody likes to play on it. Fifth place, I'm doing pretty good.
plant mode. We'll eat things if we can. Oh, I, I was not prepared for this little side shortcut. Um, nope, not at all. Oh, and I just ran right into the water because the water is a target, clearly. And into a light post. <laughs> Start naming out the things that I run into. We'll run out of the things to name, guys. Not because I've, you know, stopped repeating things, but because they're just all that's been named. Somehow I managed to jump off the top of the stage. Twice. Was not aware that it was a thing that I was capable of doing in this game. Oh, I, I try not to dig rat. The, the ability that I have to wreck myself is never underestimated. Final race course. Let's see here. We're waiting for Kazuto. He eventually will overtake Snoop Dogg, maybe. Right now, we'll do it right now. We'll, we'll let that. We'll let that. Oh, that might have been. GG, I was really hoping to kind of make the race a little bit more interesting than that. I didn't realize that Kazuto would recover that fast. So, Kazuto in first, Snoop Dogg in second. And I didn't even see where I was at. I think I was in seventh or eighth or twelfth. <laughs> kind of a big jump there. But it's always fun. It's always fun. Trying to help our enemies, that's a no-no. Um... You're all my enemy. I ain't trying to help any of you. I'm trying to sandbag the whole lot of you. <laughs> oh. And we're going to choose Baby Park and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Grumble Volcano. Why, Turtle Club? Why? Because you all love me, I know. At least it's not Spaceship Rainbow Road yet. I almost expect that to be the last race chosen by, like, everybody on this particular set. So Snoop Dogg on a water slide, Kazuto, and I think that's Dan, one of the two Dans, Daniel or Danny. Uh, Daniel, both doing the grumble. And Grumble Volcano it is, so uh, prepare to watch me in the lava. And it's always weird when we do 200 CC because all the signs are like right side instead of backwards. So instead of being no trom construction, it's Morton. So there's that. Someone trying to snipe me with a banana peel. And running into a wall. I have no clue what that is. Over the edge. We're going to boo right over the edge, maybe. I'll pull a bill. Maybe some red shells will go find somebody. Maybe not. Oh, I got my own bullet bill. Here we go. Bullet bill, one of the more dangerous power ups to use in my opinion on uh, any kind of actual 200 CC because you might wind up getting taken out of bullet bill mode in the middle of a turn. Which means you may not be able to control flying off the edge when you finally get the steering back. That doesn't stop me before, though. Like, even without the bullet. Then. Oh, lightning bolt! Hey! Let's 
Star Power Bullet Bill Combination. And right just pointed me at the fork. Almost went off the edge and then go off the edge anyways. All right, well, we are over the finish line in fourth place. And even the NPC controlled fourth place finish goes right into the wall. <laughs> At least the NPC knows how to play me pretty good. Alrighty, alrighty, guys. 200cc mode, of course, going by fast, because it always goes by fast. Love lightning the first place helps you so much. It can do that, it can do that. Pardon me, guys. Mute button didn't engage that time. Here we are, Rainbow Roads. Look, look at that, guys. Two Rainbow Roads. If Daniel was still here, he probably would have chosen the other Rainbow Road. Maybe we'll get Baby Park. Maybe we'll get uh, Wario. Wario level's fun. But let's be honest, it's like hitting me with lightning. Oh, we got Baby Park. Okay. I was for certain that that was about to hit Rainbow Road, guys. Round and round the chaos goes. What place you're in, no one knows. Of course, it's so short, you can be lapped by yourself. You generally have to start drifting before you cross the halfway point. Ah, uh, red shell hit me, of course. And who knows what place that red shell came from. Star power is no telling where that's coming from either. Kazuto, I just sideswiped and I didn't get a placement increase, so that means he's possibly that he's lapped me. Oh, here we go, here we go, star power again. Bullet Bill. Blue Shell, I'm out racing the blue shell as a bullet bill. And I'll take third. Not bad, not bad, guys. GG for the people who took first and second and those who took the places after me. That, uh... That course is always crazy. Always crazy. Kazuto in first, Snoop Dogg in second, and myself in third place for overall so far. And I think that might have been the fourth race. That might have been the fourth race. You get first after Blue Shell, Lightning Bullet, Billy. <laughs> wow! Wow, that was actually only the third race, guys. Crazy as it is, only three races so far. What can we do? What can we do? We can just accept it is what we can do. We know it's coming. Arms wide open. If it's coming for me, it's coming for me, guys. Sometimes the rainbow road just chases you down. Sometimes you're the rainbow, sometimes you're the road. <laughs> That's pretty good, Dig Rat. Oh, and of course, you know, one of the memes that get popped into our actual channel in our uh, Discord was, I walk a lonely road because everyone else fell off because the road's the rainbow road. Oh, at least this one's the Galaxy Express rainbow road, which is, you know, arguably my favorite. Um, the music in it's epic. The uh, coursework is not as bad as some of the others. And the actual lines are pretty decent, so. But with it being a rainbow road, it still makes me wish that I had string assist turned on. But we're doing alright. We're, we're holding fourth place. That's, you know, that's really respectable for me.
Wow, Dio recovered from that triple shell assault really fast. Oh, that was that was sneaky, Dio. Sneaky, sneaky. Of course, for those of you that aren't who sure who Dio is, that is Indigo D's son. He plays with us on Free For All Fridays when we do Mario Kart, and on uh, Sunday streams when we do Mario Kart. Not sure who player is, but player is probably one of Dino's friends, I guess. Oh, GG. That was that was actually fun. Um, the NPC, of course, missing all of the speed boosts. And we got final placement coming here, guys. Kazutu first, Snoop Dogg second, Daiho third, and me trailing by one point in the fourth place. Which gets me the pity clap and the nice try on the winning screen. Uh, Kazutu, of course, with the gold crown, Snoop Dogg with the silver, and Daiho with the bronze. Perfect score, Kazutu. Yeah, man. Good job on that Turtle Club. Good job. And now we're going to be entering Sudden Death Over Time is uh, the way we do it. First, though, we're going to go and accept any new friend requests we got. No new friend request here. So let's go over to Mario Kart 8. We're going to go boom. This time, guys. No teams. Random battle. No teams. Normal items. One minute rounds. No computer players. And the amount of rounds we usually try to fill up at least a half hour of sudden death. So we do 15 rounds because there's always like a minute loading and Shine Thief always makes the math really, really weird. And this will probably be the last set of races slash battles today, guys. Um, not sure. We'll see how this goes because, you know, we have to pick our stages. We have to do all that kind of stuff. No teams. No teams, Kazuto. No teams. Look at Kazuto being all happy when everything that doesn't make sense happens to you. I shall now contact GameStop. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, Ben. Yeah. Oh. Yes, blood time. Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll see how it all works. And of course, the funny thing is about one minute sudden death rounds is any strategy that you use in three minute rounds doesn't really apply unless we're playing Shine Thief. And if we wind up doing Dodge the Law, Renegade's Law, this is going to be Bomb Blast. But Renegade's Law, if you're the Renegade, you have a really, really good chance to win. Because one minute dodge the law versus three minute dodge the law, a lot easier to do. Best of luck to you, Turtle Club. Let's blow some stuff up. But not me. Not me. I didn't mean me. <laughs> oh. Oh, Kazuto hit me and possibly hit Ben. Oh, Daiho. Ready player. I got two points and I'm good with that so far. Chasing these two links through the through the stage. Maybe I'll find them or maybe. Looks like the links are duking out. Well, at least I finished the stage with no bombs in my inventory. I'll take my two points. That puts me in second place. With Kazuto in first. GG, guys. GG. One down, 14 to go. Where it stops, nobody knows. Random stage, because the strategy's out the window. That's just every time I play battle mode, but it just makes it easier. And don't forget, Turtle Club, in four hours, we have Mag vs. Wild. This stream will go on for another hour. Solo tastes so good. Well, here comes Shine Thief, Kazuto. You never know how this will go. Never truly know how it will go. Shine Thief on the Inkopolis stage. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's going to go pretty bad for me because the shine is nowhere near my side of the stage. Oh, die ho! With some desync trickery. That is, that's some strong desync there, guys. Oh, wow. There it goes. It's Ben's got it. Oh, I think that was some rubber banding desync, too. That happens sometimes. Oh. I don't even know where I'm at versus where everything else is. I just know it's here somewhere. It's Ben. It's Ben. It's Ben. He's got it. And he takes it. I guess one thing about the It's Ben side thing, guys, and this is a grown inducing pun. It's been 20 seconds since he got the shine. So he wins. Good job there. Rip all the desync. Yeah. <laughs> desync on the shine thief can be killer. Can be killer. Especially the further outside of the realm of the United States we get. We got a player from a couple players from Australia. Um, that does cause a little bit of delay and lag. But it's fun to play, guys. It's fun to play. Balloon battle in Woohoo Town. Woohoo! I'm going to try to hide. There's not really much places you can hide in Balloon Battle in a minute, though. And Kazutu, thanks for hanging out, man. Really appreciate you coming in, as well as Daniel and Danger Danny, uh, player, uh, whoever that might be, Daiho. We had Zombie Billy and Vulcan Me come in earlier today, too. Drew Benson popped in, said oh, awesome things, and then left because he had some stuff he had to take care of. But of course, it's always fun to play with the Turtle Club. It's one thing I really enjoy about Free For All Fridays. Let's see if we can shoot some, well, some shells that about hit us in the right in the turtle snout. We got one point. And it's been with the crown that time. GG, it's been. 25 points to 13 second place with five being third place. Three rounds down. Still, 12 to go, anybody's game. Shine Thief away from swinging all those points somewhere else's direction. Do, 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 do. Oh! Ben trading out... Mies, possibly? Or he got disconnected. Got to go. Okay, Ben. Well, thanks for playing, man. Really appreciate it. Um, thanks for joining the Turtle Club. Way cool playing with you, man. Of course, we play all weekend long, various different times. We're still looking at a way to get that uh, schedule better posted somehow. See you, Ben. Yep, absolutely, as Kazu was saying that there. Oh yeah, absolutely a blast. We like to do that all the time, man. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. And let's see here what we got for coin runners. Running the coins. Oh, 
almost ran into double links, and uh, that would have been pretty bad. Oh, Daiho, you changed! You're no longer running around as Turtle. You're running around as Link. We got a villager chasing behind me. Oh, ripped by the villager. Two coins, two seconds, too late, too little, guys. Five points getting both Daiho and Kazuto first place on that round. Eight point difference between Kazuto and Daiho. Daiho now in first place with the parting of Ben. We'll see how the rest of this goes, guys. Oh, two more. Okay. That's, uh... Well, Kazuto, here we go, man. 1v1 for the next 10 rounds. Um... This will be entertaining for uh, those who like watching me. Oh, <laughs> cops and robbers, cops and robbers. Yeah, I know, I know, man. And it's 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 a uh, it's woohoo town, which I do have some good strategies. If I'm a renegade, I could be okay here. I'm uh, I'm a renegade. Run, my little renegades, run! Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Dodging, dodging. Oh, Wendy caught me. All right. I think I just lost this one, guys. Come on, Rosalina. Ah. Oh, put all my eggs in the NPC basket, and I lost. I lost. That's the way it goes sometimes, guys. I had a good strategy. Just sit still, and hopefully no one found me. And it went out of place. It went downhill. Oh yeah, GG Kazudu. It went downhill as soon as I moved. So I uh, had a strategy execution issue there. Oh, we got another person joining back in. Comero. Oh, Kazuto. That is unfortunate. We have two people jumping back in with us. We'll see who those people are in a few seconds. Oh, Nana and Daiho. So that is Daiho's friend, Nana. And that might be Indigo D's daughter. I don't know. Uh, could be Indigo D's wife. Uh, girlfriend. I don't know what his actual marital status is. Balloon battle. Gotta find out what's going on here. We gotta figure out where the release the dogs of war. Oh, I got hit by Daiho. I got hit by Daiho again. Almost a third time. Almost a third time. That was a third time. Okay. I've lost three balloons and I'm being chased by Daiho at this point. Maybe one of those hidden. Well, as long as you win Shine Thief, you can still win. Yes, that's that's the way it works. Five seconds, and I almost lost my last balloon. Maybe I'll get a point. Nope. Back with the yellow balloons. Back with the no points. Back with it. Scoring game here is five points for me. Four points for Daiho. Getting disconnected, of course, making the score a little hard to track. 
and we'll see what happens. Kazuto coming back in. Boom. I have the crown on my head. I don't know how it happened. But it ain't going to stay there for long. I know that pretty well. Do, 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 do. Two, one, boom! Woohoo town! Woohoo! And we'll see what the mode is this time. As it comes in. Course has been selected as Shine Thief. Dragon Palace Shine Thief. We'll see, guys. We will see how this turns out. Kazuto with the shine. And me with all these box, these things that just don't do really good. Except for a speaker box should have should have knocked the shine out of him, but it didn't. So we'll see what happens when we do the triple threat shells. Nothing there. Did we get him in the last second? Oh, GG, guys, GG. We had a red shell at the last second, but it didn't do us any good. We do think we might have got snagged a little bit by desync there. I'm not sure how the speaker box works in Shine Thief. But GG, guys. Still anybody's game. Oh, it's me versus Kazuto again. Desync is real to the point where we're getting people with calm errors. We may have to, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Dragon Palace, here we go. Well, you know, Kazuto, I kind of, I kind of think that but you got it, Daiho got it, Billy got it a lot earlier today. I got it, uh, the whole entire game actually tanked in the first hour. We had to actually reset the whole room because it crashed. What's funny is with Kazuto having the lead he's got, he doesn't really have to engage me. He doesn't have to attack me, he doesn't have to come after me, he just has to like run away. Uh, at, the, at, at this point, all he has to do, he doesn't have to win, he just has to not lose. Oh. But, he's going for points. He's coming for more than one point. He's got two points off me. points off me. I got one point though. I'm, I'm happy with the one point I got. That, that puts me at six and Kazuto at 22. I, I have a chance. Snow doesn't melt in very hot places sometimes. You could have a nearby refrigerator or freezer. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it, was, it was interesting. It was interesting, Kazuto. You know, I kind of think, you know, next person someone says, like, 1v1 me on Mario Kart, <laughs> you just do battle mode. Be funny. They'd be like, this is not what I meant. And you'd be like, you didn't say. Coin runners. Hmm.
course, I missed the one coin. I'm going to avoid Kazuto because I can get more coins that way potentially. not hit Kazuto as many times as I can, it's simply get as many coins as I can. You send a request to you later on the Switch? Yeah, cool. Still chasing me though. Why is he chasing me? Because he thinks he can get my coins. I'm trying to steal my preciouses. They're only filled with milk chocolate. They're not that expensive. You can buy them at Walmart, I swear. Alright guys, 35 to 11 points, still doing sudden death. Next round coming up, I still have a chance because Shine Thief, if I can take Shine Thief, it'll boost the score. Oh, I know, I know Kazuto, I, I totally get the strategy, it's a good strategy. It's play style difference. I assure you, if I was in the lead, I wouldn't be hunting you down. That My play style is different than yours. I'd be running away. I'm good at hiding. Uh, Cops and Robbers is going to be interesting because we get all these NPCs here. Um, I, I think in Cops and Robbers, the Renegades are going to still have the advantage. Which is uh, not good for me. Alright, where's there's the Yoshi? We'll, we'll track down the Yoshi maybe. Maybe not. Yoshi can run away and we'll, we'll be with that. Someone else can catch your Yoshi maybe. Oh wow, my own teammates just the computer shelling me. That's that's You know, I understand me having a bad aim, but that's the computer. That's like the thing running the calculations for the game, right? How it has bad aim is uh, intentional, I guess. Oh, that was that was almost desync. I'm almost sure of it. Three seconds, and there we go, guys. There we go. I caught one criminal. Total of five criminals caught for my team, five jailbreaks for Kazuto's team, which means Kazuto is still in the lead. 45 to 11 points now. Um, I gotta win two Shine Thieves to actually seal this. So, uh, going downhill fast, Turtle Club. <laughs> oh, GG, man. GG. Do, 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 do. And of course, one of the reasons why we do know that we have a little bit less of a turnout on this than we usually do is because there is a Splatfest going on with Splatoon 2. Uh, it's chicken versus something. I can't. I, I was never told what the other side is. I'm guessing like chicken fish, chicken meat, um, chicken cow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, no problems at all, Casto. I have a good time, man. I have a good time. And a shout out, of course, to our lurker, whoever's lurking there watching. Really appreciate you popping in and having a good time with us, too. I'm guessing that may be Ben, because he's replied a couple times. The 11th round out of 15. The bomb blast. Huh. Running away, running away. Still watching. Well, thanks for watching, Ben. Really appreciate you, man. Really do.
Oh, Kazuto! Got a surprise for ya! Aww. Two to one! I got it! I got it! Sweet! I mean... <laughs> Oh, just because I know that you won't chase after me up a hill sometimes. <laughs> and just hiding at the top of the hill. It's not exactly me, but it, it's funny. Here we go, guys. Round 12 out of 15. PTSD you since pressed. <laughs> Oh, oh, and Ben, there, there was a, a race that we did like this, and I just hid, and he come up the, around the bend, and I just blew him up. It was funny. He, he usually doesn't chase me around stuff like that anymore. Here we go with Shine Thief back on Dragon Palace. And, wow, I'm, I'm not going to win this one, I can already tell. We're side by side, which means wherever it spawns, he's going to grab it. Way to be positive, Dickrat. I am positive that Kazutu is going to get the shine before I do. I really need a, a red shell here to possibly shoot him and get through his defenses. All right, now the question is, can I get away and stay away? The answer to that is maybe, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Using some tight turn tactics that you can't usually use in. Oh, that's a bomb. Get away from the bomb. Get away from the bomb. <laughs> no bombs. No explosions. Ooh, there's a shine thief win, guys. And Kazutu still gets 10 points because he got the shine before I got to it. GG. GG. Sometimes finish line troll when you're in first place. Final lap, use your item. Huh. That's... Oh, yeah, I've done that a couple times, Ben. Uh, usually I don't let people pass me at the finish line, but, uh, but yeah, I've, I've been known to throw, like, every single thing in my inventory behind me and, and wish the guy was behind me good luck. <laughs> I have seen a real funny one where uh, someone had double, triple red shell and just pointed downwind and just threw all the red shells. So they track toward the people coming up behind them. Balloon battle. <laughs> you try to make that round interesting. Um, you did make it interesting. You did. One-to-one -one score. I'm, I'll, uh, we'll call it a draw. I have no problem calling this round a draw. Fifty-seven to thirty-four. Even a shine thief still won't get me a win if we have another one fire off. So that means that it's awfully close. Um, I have to decisively take round fourteen and get a shine thief win. So we'll see what happens. 
and I have to get a like a 20 to zero shine thief win. So happy you didn't mushroom you at the last. <laughs> oh, it would have been funny. You would have went right into the turtle shells. Do 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 bling. Coin runners. I might be okay coin running on this stage. Providing this is battle 14. Yes, this is battle 14. So if it's a shine thief after battle 14, and I get three more coins in Kazuto, three or more rather, I do I do got to get more by some stretch of the imagination. Blowing up my engine's not going to do it though. Got to get all the coins I can get. Don't think it's gonna win though, guys. Don't think I'm gonna get that strategy down. Pat, 26 seconds. I need to take corners inside here because there's more coins to possibly get. See here on this particular. All right, I I hit him, but I don't think I knocked enough coins out of him though. Oh, wow. There we go. We got the crown. We're at least tied with it. We'll we'll take a tie. So here we go, guys. 68 to 45. If I win Shine Thief as a 20 to 0, I will still only be at 65 to 68. And this is why we say that Shine Thief is always a great equalizer. Now you blocked your attack with your attack. Yeah, it was a good little exchange there. We'll see what happens. We don't know what the next round is. I'm guessing probably Renegades versus Law. Um, if I had to guess. Yep, Renegades Law. If I'm a Renegade, I can get like 10 points. It's Woohoo Town, which is a good map for me on Renegades. How was the Law last time? It didn't work out really well. I am, I am, you, I am, the, I'm not the wall this time. I'm the renegade. Yeah, we'll still be able to do like one set of races, Kazuto. We'll do a mirror mode race after this, since we got like 23 minutes left. The, uh, we had a pretty good full boat, so I thought Shine Thieves were going to be a lot longer, but with two people only playing Shine Thief, it definitely, uh, definitely decreases the chance of that happening. Thirty-four seconds left on the clock. And here I go dodging the law, dodging the law, boom, hitting the mushroom, getting away from people. Kazuto saw me. Get away, get away, Steve. No, Steve, I do not wish to be eaten by this by the uh, by the Steve plant. <laughs> Sometimes the key to hiding is running away and being on the lamb. Zero teammates sprung, but I still get the 10 points, which puts the score to 68-55. GG Kazudo. GG to Ben, Daniel, Danny, everyone else that was actually in that particular game of sudden death that we wound up dropping some people out. I'm not even been biting Luigi for 20 seconds, still didn't catch him. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, D-Sync gets really bad the more NPCs it gets added, because they're all dependent upon my game code. So that's all right. So here we go. Last race of the night, mirror mode. Not 16 races. Let's go down to four. Uh, easy comms. No teams. Normal items. Here we go. Start the race. Oh, thanks, Kazuto. Thank you, man. It was good. It was good.
Oh, Donkey Kong. I... This rack, this track here is, is it's all right. I, I uh, there's some shortcuts on it that I'm not really good at hitting at all. Micah, it's a pretty good game, man. I don't know if I'd go say it's the best game ever. I, personally, I think that Final Fantasy Tactics on the uh, original PlayStation is a pretty good game. Storyline, strategy, depth, um, all of that. But that's my kind of game, though. I'm, race games are fun. I have no problem with race games. They're just, if I have a choice between two different types of games, and one's race and one's not, I uh, depends on what the other game is, but there's a strong chance it's not going to be a race game. Oh, there was a frog in the road, and it wasn't Toad from the Mushroom Kingdom. All Nintendo games... Um, you know, Nintendo makes real good games. Um, if it's on Nintendo hardware, that's kind of the big kicker, right? Like, I, I think we can all agree that Mario Run, while a good game, isn't anywhere near the best game on iOS. I'm pretty sure Kazo 2 is just way far ahead of me. A bullet bill, yuck! Did the baby Mario seriously pull out a bullet bill? He might have, I guess. See, like, right here is a, a shortcut on the track that I could do, but I'm just not good at hitting it. See, I just went off the edge trying to try it. Here comes a blue shell, not destined for me. Wow, can't even get over the edge. That's sad. That's a Yoshi that could probably swallow my whole entire car. Here we go, golden mushroom, power! Or not. <laughs> and we're about to go off the edge again. No, oh, Bullet Bill, leave me alone. Ah. Bullet Bill and Torpedo Tom, two banes of my existence. S Super Mushroom and two star power, that might not be too bad. Crosses the finish line in, well, sixth place, which means I had four easy computer players, BB. Um, not too bad, not too bad. Still better when I first started playing when all the computer players beat me. All right, so let's just grab Prom or Rainbow Road again on the Galaxy Express. Let's see what happens. Oh, GG, absolutely, Kazuto. Do 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 do. Hey, I wonder what race it's going to be. Look at that, both the same course, both the same course. So now we got the Rainbow Road out of the way. We can we can choose other things. All this place went all the way back for the fifth place. Wonder what track as well, yeah.
Second place coin tricks. Not really good. Drift that whole entire turn though. Back to back red shells. Swing into the double power up pickup. I think I'll still mind if we had just then. Oh, Ink is so bad on this course. I hear banana pills being fired at me. Oh, lightning. Oh, oh no, 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 Put the brakes on and go backwards fast enough for the blue shell. I think that might spin the end for me, guys. I might have been it. Yep. Kazuto across the finish line. I was holding first for most of it. They will take second. Pretty good race. GG there, Kazuto. GG. I did pretty good. And that's probably my favorite Rainbow Road of all the Rainbow Roads. If I had to play one, I'm glad it was this one. I feel so bad. I thought you were going to win. Then blue shell. Oh, blue shell happens. Blue shell happens. And choosing a gramble, gobble volcano, baby park. We'll see how this goes here. And for those of you joining in, of course, my name is Mag Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming. One of two streamers on here. My other one, the other one being my wife, Dig Rat. And we're doing some free for all Friday. We have two more races here baby park is the one chosen here and no telling what the last course is going to be and then in three hours and a couple minutes we're going to go to a mag versus wild which is our arc survival evolved single player campaign on the island and at eight o'clock this morning is majoro's morning muffin and then we have a, a break on saturday evening where dig rat and i have our, our actual personal day so we can rest No, red shell. Why did it have to be the red shell? Kazuto using other people to shield his body. That's a pretty good strategy. thing with Baby Park is you never know who's in first. Not really. Not really. I see Kazuto though has me beat by like half of course so. And the red shells, most of the weapons on this particular course are a little bit unpredictable. Because Red shells are used to hitting the guy in front of you, but in this particular course, everybody's in front of you and everybody's behind you because it's just one small little circle. And there we go, finishing the race out. GG there, Kazuto. Got 45 to 31 points. For first and second, with me tied in second place with the NPC Baby Mario. Yep, oh yeah, I'm pretty happy I got second. And now, we're going to uh, reciprocate the Grumble Volcano choice. Heads I win, tells I lose. And in this case, I don't think I win either way. <laughs> oh, love you, Kazuto. Love you, man. How dare I? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And Nightbot timed you out for five seconds for the caps. <laughs> Moo Moo Meadows for the last round. And I, I presume that Kazuto is going to totally wreck me on this because he knows his course backwards, forwards, 
which is important when we're playing mirror mode because you are playing it backwards. I'm going to probably trail in second for most of this race because I don't want to get killed by another blue shell. It's kind of my strategy at the moment. I think you just ran faster than the red shell, Kazuto. Like, seriously. I uh, said seriously, Siri. I did not say Siri. <laughs> On the bright side, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the news, but you know, Siri saying uh, things when I say seriously does not quite top what's happening with Alexa right now. Alexa has been randomly laughing at people. Oh, the smart home is great, um, if not for all the non-smart things in the house. Uh, I actually just lapped Ludwig. That's kind of funny. I'm actually lapping a few things. I uh, don't think I'm even close to Kazuto at this point. No, I'm not. Oh, GG, Kazuto. I think you got me beat by a good, like, quarter track, man. That was good, though. It was good. I had a pretty good run. Taking second place on several races back-to-back -back was pretty good. And I beat that baby Mario. Eat my dust, baby Mario. Six-point difference. Ha! Ah, just thought he could tie with me. But GG, Turtle Club. This was, you know, of course, we know there's a Splatfest going on. So if we weren't playing Splatoon 2, we knew that we were going to have a little bit less. Literally lapped four bots. <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> oh, we're fine there, Kazuto. And, you know, Ben, if you're still hanging around, really appreciate you popping in. Micah Peterson. Um, guys, it's been just a fun, fun race all day today. Usually we go until midnight-ish, and this is going to be one of those ish times because the amount of time we have left on the clock isn't enough time to play any modes. So thank you guys for playing. I'm going to take a break for three hours and about 10-ish minutes. When we get back, it's Mag vs. Wild. What's going to happen to us on Dinosaur Island? I don't know. All sorts of crazy things have happened. So yeah, um, absolutely shout out to Drew Benson for choosing it tonight. Really thank you for your donations and tips, guys. Without you, this is just a 36-year-old guy with a green screen playing video games on the internet. With all you, it's a channel. So guys, have a good evening, good night, good morning. This is Mag Synchro saying have a good one and take care, Total Club.